We're going to see, let's have a quick look through the heat sheets in front of me. 16 heats in total for the 50 meter freestyle. And then in the 200 back, we have got 13 heats. So this is going to be a fairly short little session. Shouldn't take much more than an hour and 10 minutes. And then we get a, an hour or so break before we move on to the 100 meter butterfly and the 50 meter breaststroke. So the, uh, the morning sessions are split across two here. So off we go, expect to time around about 27 seconds for the first four or five heats. It's incredibly close times across all 15, 16 heats. Look at that, my goodness, lane at number four. It does go to Olivia Kermio, 27-12. A couple of tenths ahead of Burslan and Higgs. So pretty much exactly on the entry times. And by the time we get to Heat number six. And just to give you an indication of where we're going, we're going to get down to about 24, 25 seconds, that kind of region. So across 160 swimmers or thereabouts, there's not really a lot to separate them. Heat two, Mabel Hayes from the top, Madison Pevler, Amelia Boys, Grace Conroy, Sarah Fentatamus, Catherine Kearney, Hermione Rowe, Shannon Byrne, and Amelia Magliocho. So good start in seven for Shannon Byrne of Mount Kelly in the white cap, second from bottom. A look at this in six in the pink swimsuit. Hermione Rowe of Mount Kelly, a teammate. Can she grab it? She takes second place because on the far side, I wasn't looking over in lane zero. I'm very sorry, Mabel. Ace 27 19 takes it by four hundredths ahead of Hermione Rowe and Catherine Kearney. Look at that. Every single swimmer within four tenths of a second. Don't expect that to change whatsoever. Heat three, Sophie Siong, Libby Walker, Lily Brabin, Rania Kaluki, Hallie Harris, Natalie Sanford, Bridget Chapman, Laura Turin, Bethan Cook and Zoe Ryan. Rainbow collage of swimsuits in this, and we get very often just seeing the black ones, but uh, Every colour you like through those centre lanes, isn't it? And, uh, near side, in front of your skin, Zoe Ryan of Guildford. And, uh, she takes it 26.59. And the girl under 27 seconds by four tenths of a second too. Her entry time, Zoe Ryan, was 27.28. It's 0.6 quicker. And that is not a small amount in 50 metres. Heat four from the top, Rhiannon Evans, Isabel Blackhurst, Rebecca Imot, Jessica Shaw, Isabel Eiley, Arabella Ward, Harmony Torrington, Chloe Skelt, Taluna Adelaia and Ella Homan. Ella Homan, youngest in the pool at 14 years old. Yellow cap in lane number nine, that is Tullawuni Aldelaheya. She's going to get pipped though by lane number three, Jessica Shaw. 26 78. Again, just one girl under 27 seconds. Isabel Eiley and Ella Homan, second and third place in the heat. Number five, Jessica Georgia Holgate, Annabelle Pilgrim, Lauren McRobbie, Lara Turner, Abigail Naylor, Leah Evans, Amelia Charles, Holly Wilson, Imogen Sargent, and Lola Oki. Holly Wilson, Lane Southern, in the yellow cap, third from bottom, 13 years old, representing Leeds. Up against girls four and five years her senior in this heat. In lane two, Laura McRobbie going well, as in lane number eight, Imogen Sargent. And they are your top two. 26.97 for McRobbie. 100 outside, 27 seconds for Sargent. And Leah Evans, third place, 27.12. 
Heat 6. Jessica Hum, Scarlett Orchard, Leah Bowen, Amelia Mool, Molly Grant, Lucy Canavan, Laura Burgess, Madison Nuttall, Louisa Chiboleta and Jade Blake. So once again today, really lovely crowd in here at Sheffield. Full of swimmers, coaches and uh, spectators. Great to see. Uh, the noise last night was pretty intense during the finals. Very, very enjoyable. Lane six, seven, and nine. Burgess, Nuttall, and Blake. It is Burgess that gets it. 26.89. Now Garrett and Blake tied second place. Seven hundredths over 27 seconds. Seven, Kezia Titterton, Liza Barzaghi, Lola Proctor, Ella McNamara, Hannah Cromhout, Lottie Roberts, Laura de Crass, Abigail Parkinson, Darcy Highmore, and Anna Healy. We are storming through these heats. So this is heat number seven already. I think I've been talking for about three minutes, it feels like. But, uh, that is a sign of the quality here in Sheffield. Not hanging about. Green caps out in front in six and eight. That is Laura de Kreis and Darcy Highmore. It's 26 at 98 for the win. Just an observation. Every single heat so far, one swimmer under 27 seconds. So we're starting to be a collective fairly soon. Lottie Roberts, second place in the heat. Casey Titton on the far side. Rending out your top three. Heat eight, Ella Chown. Monera Kabirik, Laurie Devine, Lucy Gratton, Ellie Chalk, Chloe Bain, Emily Mears Bentley, Felicity Boyle, Eve Doherty, and Bella Hodges. Now, these swimmers are racing for two sets of finals. There's an open final, which is quite simply the fastest 10 across the heats. And the junior final is the under 16s final. Or well, the best of the rest of the under 16s. You can get a 14, 15, 16 year old in the open final. So it is the best under 16s not to make it into the open final. And uh, oh, a couple of uh, under 27s. Emily Beers Bentley, 26 76 for the win. And then Laurie Devine, seven hundredths better than 27 seconds. And a tie for third place. Boyle and Gratton, both 27 on the nose. Heat number nine, Emma Flannery, Lucy Fox, Grace Waller, Louise Jones, Grace Maskell, Olivia Lloyd-Jones, Libby Harris, Imogen Viney, Tegan Drew and Sienna Franklin-Miller. Franklin-Miller, the nearest to you in the green cap, 14 years old from Millfield. Best start from Louise Jones, Royal in three. So white cap, third from bottom in seven, that is Imogen Viney of Birmingham. And on the far side in three, Louise Jones. She will take it, and it's ahead of Olivia Lloyd Jones in the end. Good second half for Lloyd Jones. And Imogen Viney completes uh, the top trio. And five times now, under 27 seconds. And it won't be long till we're going sub 26. Heat number 10 Lily Chambers, Morgan Penny, Ivy Float, Alice Toon, Nicole Dupree. Kristen Powell, Abigail Jolly, Lucia Guilford-Jones, Natalie Druitt and Georgina Dennis. Nothing to separate through 25 metres. Maybe Abigail Jolly of Leeds just out in front. She maintains that over and two. Evie floats. They are your top two. Separated by three hundredths of a second. Winning time, Abigail Jolly, 26-34. Then float and Nicole Dupree. Heat number 11. Over the top starts here in Sheffield. That's why it's running so quickly. If you're uh, new to swimming, over the top just simply means... 
The next race can start whilst the previous swimmers are still in the pool. And then they've got a, about 25 seconds to clear the water before they're coming back again. So if you see them going in the background. The 11, Akaro, Klein, Raggle, Gravel, Brandon Hall, Crookshanks, Pedersen, Eiley and Quill. Sophie Brandon of Tadcaster in four. She will lead and she will win in 26.39 ahead of Josephine Klein and Charlotte Hall. Heat number 12. Rhiannon Bowen, Georgia Harvey, Hannah Woodcock, Rebecca Gooch, Jessica Telford, Lily Scott, Nyla Garda, Lucy Alex, Nuri Nazaire, and Heather Whitcomb. Lane three, Rebecca Gooch, she's fourth from top, and in the uh, at the bottom, right in front of you, Heather Whitcomb of Soundwell. Gooch, 26-23 for the win in heat number 12. It was Heather Whitcomb in the end, second place. And the, uh, Hannah Woodcock in two takes third in under 26 and a half seconds. So if you're looking for the men's racing, that'll be getting underway in about five minutes' time, I believe, over on the uh, opposite YouTube stream. Why not get two screens out and watch it all at the same time? Pick 13 from the far side, Maisie Guilford. Tegan Child, Yana Spinner, Georgina Wright, Zoe Corsi, Lauren Cox, Phoebe Cooper, Laura Dickinson, Beth Hall and Emma Croker. And it's our outside lanes in with the chance of the win here. Now, just have to uh, pending results, and uh, even in the venue here, we've got some uh, waiting. There we go. It was Emma Croker, 26-28, and Maisie Guilford on the far side. Have to wait for the times of um, Lauren Cox and Zoe Corsi in the centre lanes. Heat 14, three to go. Jess Podger, May Bradburn. Jessica Woodward, Leah Whitaker, Emily Barkley, Amy Canney, Rebecca Watt, Holly Widows, Olivia Marshall and Jemima Hall. That's Amy Canney of Plymouth Lander in lane number five, the lower of the two centre yellow lanes. These last three heats where we start to see the really super quick times. And there you go, right there, 25-11. Almost a full second quicker than what we've seen so far. Rebecca Watt and Emily Barkley to her left and right. And uh, Leah Whitaker in that quad of sub-26s. Expect to see the same kind of times again in heat number 15. Well, Annabelle Smith, Sky Carter, Sasha Thomas, Charlotte Berry, Evelyn Davis... Harriet Rogers, Georgina Pryor, Alma Dahl, Emma Valselm and Catherine Elland. Penultimate heat of the 50 metre freestyle. Last couple of chances to make it into the Open and the Junior Final from 5pm onwards. And it should be those centre four lanes setting the really super quick times and Evelyn Davis does just that can't quite much quite can't quite match the time of 8 14 but 25 32 uh, that will be very guarantee a spot in the final later on as with Harriet Rogers Charlotte Berry Georgina Prime might have a little bit of an anxious wait to the 26 10 and our final heat then Sophie DeGroote Ella Walker 
Kate Clifton, Erin Little, Isabel Hindley, Emily Crane, Katie Latham, Yasmin Hamelane, Jennifer Horn and Darcy Revit. Isabella Hindley, 25-year-old from Brompton in lane number four. She can go 24.3. Emily Crane, 23-year-old next to her from Colville, can go 24.75. And it is Isabella Hindley that turns first. And expect this to be the fastest time of the bunch. 25.10 is the quickest we've seen so far. And it's a 24.46. There you go, Hindley. Putting the marker down for the final. She will have lane number four tonight in the 50 metre freestyle final. She'll be joined by Erin Little, Emily Crane, Katie Latham. And I think Kate Clifton's going to get into that open final two with a 25-95. All to be confirmed. But you can expect to see Isabel Hindley and the likes of Emily Crane going toe-to-toe -to -toe again. The women's 50 metre freestyle final is our second final of the session from five o'clock onwards. And now just a few metres to my left hand side, colleague Bob Ballard is starting to talk you through the men's racing. So the men's have got the 100 metre breaststroke this morning, the 200 IM and the 50 metre backstroke first thing. Then from 11.40, they have the 200-metre butterfly. If you do want a full schedule, you just need to go on the Swim England website, look for the uh, National Winter Champs 21, and you can download the schedule for the entire weekend. I've actually got one printed out in front of me right now. Plus a few other bits and pieces. Right, we are on to... The 200 metre backstroke. We've got 13 heats to come in this one. And in heat number one, from lane one, Nyla Garda, Amara Addison, Leah Whiteman, Katie Leary, Jessica Keo, Millie Wells, Martina Karabach, and Evangeline Pierce. have noticed on the far side lane number one Nyla Garda swimming out of HA Dubai that is Hamilton Aquatics Dubai an invitation to uh, HA Dubai for this championship so they can absolutely get into finals and win medals um, and they will be classed as complementary medals so let's just say for example a Dubai swimmer won a bronze the athlete in fourth place would also take a bronze medal, and the Dubai uh, athlete would take a complimentary bronze. It did happen several times yesterday. So they're having a great meet, the uh, Hamilton Aquatics Dubai team. Commemorative medals. What did I say? Complimentary? Yeah, commemorative uh, bronze medal or, or whatever it might be. Whatever colour they take home. So in lane two, early leader is Amara Addison, 14-year-old and representing Norwich. Now, as we see so often, only four-tenths of a second, in fact, separates the... Uh, Eight swimmers in this one on the entry times. Just a reminder to all coaches and swimmers that this evening's final session, warm up the start of So 50 metres to go. It's Addison ahead of Waitman and Carabach. Leary also within two seconds. And 
She will turn for home and she'll get chased pretty well by Martina Karabac. Second place with 50 to go. I don't think she will catch her, but she'll most certainly maintain second place. In lane three, that's Leah Whiteman, West Norfolk. Can she hold on to third? It'll be a tight little finish. She does indeed. Millie Wells and Katie Leary doing as best they can to uh, get on her heels. But Amara Addison, 2.20.87 is your winning time and swimmer in heat number one. Martina Karabach controlled second place comfortably, 2.22.13. And uh, Leah Whiteman's 23.28 for third. Heat number two. Names coming up for you very shortly. You do get these odd little um, often delays now between the starting races as both pools are now running side by side. Just to make sure a race is not starting or give it 15 seconds after the gun before you uh, get into position. Heat two. Eleanor Kay on the far side. And Jessica Gable, Anna Uren. Maya Watts, Evelyn Roswell, Isabel Pergavi, Sophie Demont, Tegan Matthews, Imogen Walton and Annabelle Compton. All of these girls with 222.xx entry times. Early leader, Jessica Gable, Royal Tumbridge Wells Monson, 14 year old. Uh, two 13-year-olds in this one, Tegan Matthews and Annabelle Compton. The closest to you and third from bottom. White cap, lane number four in the centre, Evelyn Roswell, Portsmouth. Is that 22.5 entry. Gable holds on to that lead through 50 metres and 100. Third place is Tegan Matthews of Guildford in Southern. Third from bottom. And there's a little bit of a gap, a body length or so. Back to Anna Uren and Maya Watt. And six, Sophie Demont, another HA Dubai swimmer. Look at that, nothing to separate them now is there. Gable, Rousel and Matthews. And then over three seconds more to Urin, Demont and Watt. So they've certainly split the pack, those three at the front. 2.20 was the time we saw quickest in heat number one. And that's going to be pretty tight to set a new fastest time. On, and it's a great second 50. Just wait for the time to go. 2.19.91 then for Tegan Matthews. She takes it. Jessica Gable, long-time leader. Just losing out by 1,700s in the end. And Evelyn Rousel. They were your three with 100 metres to go. And they kept that in tow right to the end. Now, looking right through to heat number 13, we're going to get down to the mid two minutes, sixes, sevens. So they will get quicker by a significant margin right at the end in the final few heats. Again, they're aiming to get into two different finals, the Open final and the Junior final. So 20 spots up for grabs to uh, come back and do it all again from five o'clock. The women's 200 back final will be our fourth final of the evening tonight. So 
We expect that to be around about quarter to six or so. So our first final of the night is the 1500 metres. Heat three. From the top, Rosie Smith, Ella Justice, Nicole Quiller, Daisy Manning, Eleanor Broughton, Jessica Hum, Emilia Magliocco, Amy Gooch, Katie Delalio, and Millie Sandham. Quick start in six from Emilia Magliocco, Camden Swiss. She will lead through the first quarter by one hundredth of a second over Amy Gooch to her side in uh, lane seven. It's the white cap and the yellow cap, third and fourth from bottom. A look in lane number one, that's Ella Justice of Rican College. Way mark. It's as you were right at the start. Look at the change in times. Justice Maglioco, Hum Quilla Gooch. All change. And every swimmer within one and a half seconds. What a contrast to uh, heat number two. Still the blue cap on the far side of Ella Justice. 14 year old will lead into the final 50 metres. 0.36 ahead of Jessica Hum in five. So now it starts to split. In four, Eleanor Broughton of Ellesmere College. Going toe to toe with Hum. Once again, we do have a clear three now out in front. 2.19, the quickest time we've had. High 2.19s. I don't think this is going to beat that. But regardless, very in entertaining heat. And a Broughton takes it. 2.21.21. Early leader, quickest starter, Ella Justice, third place. And they are split down the middle by Jessica Hum, a 2.21.59. Heat four from the far side. Isabel Buist, Alice Weston, Evie Woolley, Gabrielle Freeman, Lizzie Burbage, Anna Farrow, Eve Salem Hodges, Lilla Gilbert, Emily Headley, and Isabel Liptrot. A couple of 13 year olds in this one. Gabrielle Freeman in lane number three representing Morpeth. And uh, Lip Trot closest to you in lane nine. 13 years old from Wigan Best. All these swimmers now in the 2.21 entry times. Lip trot that's uh, out in front alongside Farrow and Buist. So once again, the crowd just filling up here in Sheffield. And, uh, a really nice buzz around the uh, venue as you're walking through the, even the main front doors past the uh, 
ticket collection boxes in the cafe there's there's tv screens up showing the action what's happening inside the actual uh, the pool area but there's just a nice busy buzz people are happy to be back at live venue sports looking forward to christmas this is the uh, last competition before christmas By the looks of things, Anna Farrow in lane number five. She's having an absolutely cracking time in heat number four. It's a huge lead at the, the 150 metre marker. It's going to be five or so seconds. 4.24 to Headley, four and a half to Salmon Hodges and Buist. So let's have a little look at the race for second place. Headley's down in lane number eight, second from bottom on your screen. Then in lane six in the red swimsuit, Eve Salmon Hodges. Then in lane zero and two, that's Isabel Boyston, Evie Woolley. But they will not catch lane five and Anna Farrow, representing Ellesmere College. And it's a 2.16.77, quickest time through high feats by Around three seconds or so for Farrow. Emily Headley, 2.20.68. And third place, Salmon Hodges. Isabel Boist in the top three for a long time. But 2.22.09, good enough for fourth. On to heat number five of 13. And from the top in lane zero, Annabelle Kreese, Elena Lopez Pachera, Amber Ranson, Gracie Comin, Mika Ogden, Libby Monday, Lydia Swindell, Gina Warrior, Charlotte Harding, and Evie Lelu. Once again, these swimmers all with entry times in the 221 second mark. Off they go. Now, you might think, as you can't see the crowd, you have to trust me that there is a good one in here. Because there's, a, as I mentioned yesterday, a really fairly respectful hush wherever you're watching. Because you've just got to be conscious that there's two pools operating at the same time. You don't want to be shouting and cheering for a swimmer in the women's pool when a men, men's race is uh, on the blocks. But I can tell you, and you can trust me, that all changes in the finals from 5 o'clock last night. The uh, atmosphere was absolutely fantastic. As, uh, all the different teams very notably sat in their little groups in the stands. And you hear big roars come from different areas. Very, very enjoyable. So early on, in five and six, Libby Monday and Lydia Swindell. And in lane zero, Evie Leilu of Rekin College. Uh, lane two, representing Atlantis, 16-year-old Amber Ranson. Had a good day yesterday, Amber. I was uh, speaking to her parents this morning, actually. Amber had a uh, PB in her race yesterday. And like a lot of swimmers, only started training again fairly recently. So already a successful swim for her. Just pulling away slightly is Libby Monday. Representing Cleethorpes in lane number five. And three, Gracie Common of Repton. 50 metres to go. She'll take a point three four lead over Monday. Half a second to Harding. And Lilu and Swindle. So 2.16, quickest we've seen through five heats. They can get down to, I mean, to get into a final, you've got to be looking at 212, 213, maybe for the juniors up to 215, 216. 
And that is a very confident swim there for a 2.18.75 by Gracie Common. Very close for second and third on this near side. Lilu and Harding separated by just two one hundredths of a second. And we are approaching halfway now in our second event of the day. Heat number six of 13 coming up. Over in the men's pool, currently on heat number 11 of the 100 metre breaststroke. But don't forget that action is happening as well as we speak. Two streams available for you. My colleague Bob is uh, talking you through the action. Heat six. From the top, you've got Zoe Ryan, Alice Volkayeva, Lily Grover, Amelia Childs, Elizabeth Eardley, Mia Smith, Catherine Arundel. Aviva Helinski, Rose Gubbins and Evie Stockdale. Lane yeah. zero, Zoe Ryan of Guildford. Quickest starter, 16-year-old. 2.20 entry time for uh, well, pretty much every athlete taking part in Heat 6. Mm. We've seen four or five sub-20s so far. Uh, approaching halfway, just two or three starting to uh, get the noses out in front. Mia Smith in five. Rose Gubbins in lane eight, second from bottom. And over on the far side in lane number two, that is uh, Lily Grover. So they'll turn within around half a second of each other. One second plus back to Halinski, Aaron Dillon, Ryan. They've got work to do. And I'll tell you what, they're doing that work, especially Halinski. She could come back into the top three here quite comfortably, in fact. She has. Great final 50 coming up for her. In two, still Lily Grover. And uh, just in the final few metres, Rosie Gubbin see the challenge of Helinski. And they turn for the penultimate time. Now, less than one second between Gubbins and Helinski chasing Smith. Mia Smith heading for home. I'm just watching this race at the bottom between Helinski and Gubbins. And could she even win this one, Helinski? She's coming back right out of the death, a few strokes to go. And if she takes this, that'll be quite remarkable. She does indeed. Wow, she was fourth place with 100 metres to go. Still in third with 50. And uh, turns it right round, 220.21. Mia Smith second, and uh, Amelia Childs in th lane three took third. Wow, a big shuffle from uh, 150 metres. Southern Hannah Buick, Lily May Marston, Sophie Busby, Isabel Blackhurst, Katie Bambra, Holly Marshall, Lily Marie Derry, Martha Steed, Jennifer Horn, and Amelia Stevenson.
So if you are in Sheffield this weekend, I can uh, give you to you on good authority that the Christmas market's fairly nice up the high street. And a couple of walks up there yesterday during the breaks. And some uh, mouth-watering food options, got to be said. I was definitely drawn to the uh, the fudge stand. And, uh, again, like, like as in the venue, just a. Uh, I think people are just looking forward to Christmas, having a bit of family time. Been a long old year. It's a good start to this race for Katie Bamborough of Mount Kelly. Almost a full second lead. Over Marshall, and they look a lot closer than that, don't they? Just a half a stroke separating them. Holly Marshall of Lincoln. So your centre two lanes taking charge of heat number seven. Elsewhere on this near side, second and third from bottom is Jennifer Horn and Martha Steed. Just above those centre two lanes in lane three, Isabel Blackhurst. Look at that. They have uh, grown that gap into the final 50. This is a, a two-woman race with 50 metres to go. Stead and Stevenson. In uh, seven and nine. Looks like they're going to battle out with 25 to go for third place in the heat. So, Bramber, a 17-year-old from Mount Kelly. Marshall, 15 years old from Lincoln. And it's the youngster... And he's going to pull away and take a victory here. And a good time of 2.17.37. Almost two, two seconds she pulled out of Bambra. Then that final length. And it was that Stevenson ahead of Stead in the battle for third place. Once more, this is the men's 200-meter individual medley, heat one. Now, if you're tuning in and you're going to be looking for the women's 100-meter butterfly, which is our next event. Still got five heats to go in this one, but our next event is the 100-meter butterfly, followed by the women's 50-meter breaststroke. Now, after this event, there is a break, and that will be from 11.45 onwards. We'll have the 100-meter butterfly and the 50-meter breaststroke. It just, uh, the reason we do this, it just gives uh, enough of the swimmers to have a warm-up as close to their actual race as possible. I'm sure many of you will have uh, watched or been at events and meets where you've got a warm-up of 45 minutes, but then you've got a three-hour session, so you don't actually race until a lot, lot later. So by preventing that, we have, uh, we have the warm-ups intermittent throughout the morning and the early afternoon. And it also gives you and I a chance to just have a break more often as well. I do hope you're enjoying your Saturday and looking forward to two full days we've got here in Sheffield. And we end each day with, of course, the, uh, the medal races. Heat number eight from the far side, Isabella Woolard, Isabel Eiley. Hannah Willis, Lacey Roberts, Bella Hodges, Georgina Chadwick, Rachel Webb, Olivia Martin, Matilda Bogle, and Holly Robinson. And the girl in the red cap in lane number five is Georgina Chadwick, representing Sheffield. The black cap, second from top, Isabel Eiley of Hackney. See the men's racing on the left there as well. They are currently in, uh, that's heat number one of the men's 200 meter IM taking place. Now the two sessions, or the two streams, I should say, uh, do overlap slightly. 
So the end of this women's race, and you can switch over to the men's and catch the last 20 minutes or so of action in the men's pool. Or, of course, you can just flick back to the start of the stream and watch it from the beginning. Everything you're watching over the course of the weekend is going to be available to you afterwards. And is uh, available to, of course, skip back at any point. If you've, if you've jumped on and we're in, we're in heat eight here, and you think, oh, should have been in heat number four. Don't worry, just do a quick rewind. And Georgina Chadwick takes the heat. 2.13.01, quickest time by a few seconds. Matilda Bogle, 2.16.46 for second. And in third place, just above her by one lane, and half a second, Olivia Martin. But your long-time leader, and she did go out pretty hard, didn't she? At 2.13.01. And that is a time, yeah, 17 years old, so she is racing for the Open final. I don't think it's going to be enough for the Open final at 2.13. We have got swimmers around about the 2.10s or lower uh, later on in the heat. But if one of our 16 or unders can do a 2.13 or sub, they'll have a really good chance of uh, making a final. Heat nine. Molly Garrett, Ruby Stevenson, Lucy Block, Madeline Soper, Jessica Meller, Elena Eardley, Gracie Kay, Ruth Fowler, Emma Crookshanks, and Evie Barber. So six and seven, that's Gracie Kay of Cambridge and Ruth Fowler of Team Bath. Orange cap on the far side in zero, that's uh, York City's Molly Garrett. Youngest in the pool in heat nine, got 14 year old Ruby Stevenson in lane number one, that's second from top. And uh, a few of our 18-year-old swimmers, the senior swimmers, Gracie Kay and Emma Crookshanks. And uh, Kay, one of our pair leading. We do a solid block of four swimmers on the far side, Garrett, Stevenson, Block and Soper. Red swimsuit, lane number six, Gracie Kay. Just uh, doesn't want to let Ruth Fowler move away any further than she is right now with 50 to go. One and a half seconds. There's Block, Soper and Stevenson. In fact, Lucy Block and Madeline Soper just uh, gained a body length or so on Stevenson and Garrett. So there'll be three turning together in second place. Blue Caps the third from bottom. Ruth Fowler looks like she's got this one pretty much sewn up. And uh, Lucy Block of Wickham over in lane two. Green Cap, pink swimsuit. She will uh, take second place. Really good finish for her. Good final 75 metres after being in a group of four to move away. But Ruth Fowler, 216-10, your winner. And Gracie Kay, third place. 2.18.09. Heat number 10. From zero, Phoebe Cooper, Megan Pye, Tilly Hanson Hamilton, Lucy Hitchin, Charlotte Cullen, Francesca Whiting, Sophie Weston, Annabella Wilkinson, Isabella Remwick, and Sophie Davies. So 
as you can see. Francesca Whiting not joining us in heat number 10. Annabella Wilkinson, leader through 50, representing Sheffield. 16 years old, 2.16 entry time. Phoebe Cooper, her uh, teammate from Sheffield over in lane zero. And a good turn from Isabel Remwick of Millfield in eight. So they'll be your top three at the halfway mark. Western and Hitchin one second plus. Look at that, just lean over and give each other a pat on the back, these two, Wilkinson and Renwick in uh, seven and eight. The yellow cap just above them, that's Sophie Weston of Warrington. In lane three, Lucy Hitchin having a good third 50 metres. I mean, I say good. Could be her best 50 metres because she's going to take a lead into the final 50. And if you uh, include on the far side Phoebe Cooper, we've got a five woman race for this one. Hitchin, I think that lead has just grown by a tenth or two. Move back towards the finish line and it will be between Lucy Hitchin and Isabel Remwick who gets it it is Hitchin by five hundredths of a second it finished and it's Sophie Weston 216.6 for third place Annabella Wilkinson involved throughout the entire 200 meters settling for fourth in the heat Now, moving on to our final three heats. This is where it will get really quick now, because we've got entry times in the two sixes. So a big jump in speed on these three. So in heat number 11, Gemma Athlete, Madison Peveler, Libby Freeman, Izzy May Reeves, Honey Osrin, Sophie Shaw, Amelia Robertson, Natasha Whittle, Cora O'Toole and Ro Lauren Bradley Holt. And it's Honey Osrin in lane number four, 18 year old from Loughborough, 2.06.88 on the entry time. Another sub 2.10 with Sophie Shaw in lane five. So maybe not from the gun, but expect those two in the centre to uh, show some real talent towards the end of this 200 metres. And can the rest be inspired? Got plenty of uh, big age ranges. So Libby Freeman, 15-year-old in lane two. And Madison Pevler, 16-year-old in lane number one. Now, of course, they could still make it into the open final. But can they take advantage of the uh, athletes around them to, uh, if not guarantee themselves a spot in the junior final, if not the Open? So after Osman and Shaw. You've got Izzy May Reeves and Gemma Athlete. Now, I'd say within a second of the halfway mark, against the likes of Osman and Shaw, they'll be pretty satisfied going into the second hundred. Amelia Robinson of Newcastle in six is coming through really well in this third 50 metres. She's in the black cat fourth from bottom.
Gemma Athley maintaining her place in uh, the leading half. And here comes Honey Osrin now. She was trailing Sophie Short with about 75 metres to go. And then she's uh, just found an extra gear. And how quick can we go? It will be sub 210, I imagine. Might just be outside, will it? 210.03, 300 outside 210. 210.62 for Sophie Short. And then um, Amelia Robertson did beat Gemma Athley in the end. They're your top four. And that is the type of time we were expecting. Two more heats to come. It'll get a little bit quicker. Now, just some times there to make a note of. So it looks like anything under 2.15 at the moment would be good enough for a junior final. And a little bit quicker for the Open. So Heat 12, penultimate Heat, Neve James, Evie Johns, Kiddius Hodgson, Jasmine Eiley, Cassie Wild, Evie Dilly, Alexandra Waller, Amber Keegan, Caitlin Ebbage and Jurda Vasilaskati. Lane four, Cassie Wild. That's a name uh, the swing fans will recognise from the Tokyo Olympics. One of our Team GB team here this weekend. I think there's nine competitors were uh, down to compete from Team GB here in Sheffield. The University of Stirling swimmer, 205.10 her entry. And she is right side by side with Ebbage in lane number eight. So Cassie Wild starts to make her move through halfway. And the uh, the rest swimming in two packs. They've got four on the far side. And Neve James, Evie Johns, Kidius Hodgson and Jasmine Eiley. And then you've got a pack on this near side together. Evie Dilly, Alexandra Waller, Amber Keegan, Caitlin Evage and uh, Judo vasilis Gaty doing her best to stay in that group. the final 50 Cassie Wild will take a 0.6 second lead over Evie Dilly Evie Dilly 15 years old so uh, she'll be looking to make it into the open final the fastest 10 regardless of age and she could take take this uh, heat win from Cassie Wild that'll be a, a nice scalp for her Into the final stroke, it does go to Cassie Wild. 210.63. Evie Dilly, 15 years old, just 16 hundreds behind. Third place, Amber Keegan, 211.7. Still great times here. And uh, fourth place, 215 for Alex Waller. So we will see Evie Dilly and Cassie Wild together again in the final from our five o'clock session onwards. And we've got one heat to come. Final heat then of our early morning mini session from lane zero. Far side, you've got Charlie Jones, Abby Lowe, Sophie Bromley, Chrissy Prince-Rainer, Chloe Golding, 
Katarina Avramova, Neve Ward, Anna Marley, Alice Kerslake and Ella Turner. Now, Chloe Golding, 23-year-old in lane number four, City of Manchester aquatic swimmer. She's the quickest on paper out of all the athletes in this event, a 2.04.46, her entry time. In lane five, Ekaterina Avramova, 30-year-old from Ealing, a 2.08.6. And uh, the remainder of our swimmers, 2.10 plus. Neve Ward, 17-year-old, is a 2.12 swimmer. Charlotte Prince Rayner, 19-year-old from Winchester, also a 2.10. And that four are your leading four. Final 50, Chloe Golding doing in the pool what she uh, proposes to do on the paperwork in front of us. And that is set a pretty quick time. I don't think it'll be as low as 2.04. This is just about getting into the final. She knows all she has to do really is, is win this heat and the speed of the swimmers around her will be enough to guarantee her time capable of being in that final. So we're looking around about 2.728. Might even just be under 2.10. And there it is, your winning time. 2.09.26. Ekaterina Avramova, 2.10.06. And 0.8 outside is Charlotte Prince running. So all those three times will be in your open final later on. The likes of Neve Ward and Abby Lowe. They've got a bit of a wait to see. But uh, everything to be confirmed and ratified for you behind the scenes here in Sheffield. So that concludes our swimming for the early morning session. From 11.45 onwards, we have the women's 100-metre butterfly and the 50-metre breaststroke. From 2.30 onwards, the 400-metre freestyle and the 100 IM. But if you just can't get enough swimming, don't worry. We're still going here in Sheffield over in the men's pool. It's currently heat seven of the men's 200 metre individual medley. My colleague Bob Ballard is talking you through that one. A name and a voice you'll recognise, I'm sure. So uh, keep this stream active if you want to. But you can also open the second one and go and watch some men's swimming. But for here in the women's pool, my name's been Ewan Dunlop. Thank you for joining me. I'll be talking you through the rest of the ladies' action today from 11.45 onwards here in Sheffield. And once more in the men's pool, heat eight.
And your finalist for the men's 100 meter black backstroke of Bresler Gala are as follows. David Murphy, left for National Centre. Lawrence Palmer, Cutbridge. Dominic Molly, Brighton. Archie Goodwin, left for University. William Mitchell, left for University. Adam Chilworth, Plymouth Leander. Samuel Nell, Surrey University. David Bloomfield, left for University. Elliot Woodbury, Minnick Millfield. Gregory Butler, Loughborough National Centre. And the two reserves, Roger Williams, City of Liverpool, and George Hopkins, Swansea University.
51. We'd had a couple of events in their heats this morning from 9 o'clock. Uh, you can go back and watch the women's 50 metre free start and the women's 200 metre backstroke starting very shortly. Uh, swimmers, uh, you can maybe just see them just behind their starting blocks. We're going to be watching the 100 metre butterfly and the women's 50 metre breaststroke. Coming up a little bit later, just looking ahead from 2.30 onwards, we'll have the women's 400 metre freestyle and the women's 100 metre individual medley with all of our finals from 5pm later this afternoon. Now, there are two pools operating, just in case you're joining us for the first time this week, and we've got two pools operating. The men's racing in a separate pool to the women's, just to the far left-hand side of what you can see on screen there. My colleague Bob Ballard is talking you through all the men's action. There are two separate streams available, so you can watch both at the same time if you've got two uh, computers or two laptops, etc. Or you can just go back and watch an alternative um, stream a little bit later. But all you need to do is go to the Swim England YouTube channel, and uh, there are two options. So now you can see our swimmers just about getting ready. Officially, we're 11.45 start time. And on my wristwatch, we're still a couple of minutes away from that. But you've got your referees, your officials and your timekeepers, everybody in place. Should be a fairly short session, really. Only 15 heats in the 100 metre butterfly, which range from about one minute to one minute, five or six seconds. And then uh, 18 heats in the 50 metre breaststroke, each of those taking no longer than 35 seconds or so. So it should be a fairly rapid fire little session for us. And there are your heat number one competitors, Zion Shanker, Emily Lambert and Naomi Parker. And we are going to kick off just a minute or so early. So in lane four, youngest in the pool, 14-year-old Emily Lambert. One of these three swimmers with entry times in the 105. And uh, the direction we're heading is as low as, well, there's six entry times in the entire field, sub one minute. Half a second separating the three through the halfway mark. In fact, your early leader and the youngster Emily Lambert is going to be trailing behind Shanker and Parker into the final few metres. Entry time is 105, just going to be outside that. 105.62 and a couple of 106s for Parker and Lambert. Heat number two, Gemma Bain, Chloe McCall, Heinz Geiman beat them, Josephine Klein, Sophie Johnston, Ellie Kennington, Isabella Schering and Hannah Willis. And, um, just a quick uh, glance to the men's pool, currently the 200 metre butterfly for the gents taking place. That is scheduled to be the only event in this uh, mini session for the men. So you'll get another really good sort of hour and a half break before we come back at 2.30. But uh, still 30 or so heats to come before that. 
Closing in then on the win in lane number three in heat two. Heinz Gumon beat them 105.05. Tenth or so quicker than Hannah Willis. And a little bit further back to Ellie Kennington. But all of those swimmers within a second or so of their entry time. So swimming to schedule as it stands. Heat number three, Daisy Dewsbury, Ella Williams, Isabel Hayes, Imogen Sargent, Paige Fenton, Isabel Moore, Chloe Bradley, Kira Wookie, Macy Yoxall and Anna Uren. Two tenths of a second separating all ten entry times. With your starts are Jeesbury uh, on the far side and Wookie in seven, third from bottom. So seven swimmers within a second. And they will turn for the final time. Seven, Kira Wookie of Colchester, 17 years old in the yellow cap. And four, Paige Fenton of Skipton coming through. In fact, I think Paige is going to get this one. She does indeed. 104.07. So a second quicker than she's got on paper. And, uh, Isabel Hayes, in fact, came through for second place. going to move on to heat number four from lane zero on the far side you got Rosie Smith Here comes Ella McNamara Arabella Ward and Emily, Emily Serafini Annabella Cottrell Isabella Jobson Amelia Osborne Katie Herald Mia Burslem and Imogen Viney of 104 entry times now. I know we've seen one in the heat from uh, Paige Fenton. Both Serafini, Cottrell and Jobson capable of a sub-105 also. That is close, isn't it? 9,300 separating the entire field. A third of a second separating the top six. Having a good third 25 are Ella McNamara in one and Arabella Walls in two. <laughs> Who is going to touch home first? Is it in lane number seven? It is Katie Heald, 105 48. Seven hundredths quicker than Arabella Ward. Now, all of our swimmers competing to get into uh, two finals of each race later on this evening. You've got the open final, which is quite simply the 10 quickest times. Then you've got the 16 and under final, which are the 10 quickest 16 and unders that are not also in the open final. So a youngster can absolutely make it into the open final. And if they do, the junior final is uh, the other 10 quickest under 16s. Seen it a few times last night, 14 and 15 year olds in the open final against their senior counterparts. Plenty of very experienced swimmers here in Sheffield, no less than nine of the Team GB Olympic squad are here. In the girls' pool, you're likely to see Anna Hopkin, Molly Renshaw, Cassie Wilde, and Abby Wood. So, great experience for these younger swimmers to, uh, or anyone in fact, to. Uh, Swim alongside them. 
In heat five, it's Poppy Baber, Sophie Bromley, Sky Carter, Layla Flower, Georgia Holgate, Caris O'Reilly, Charlotte Johnson, Matilda Ransom, Olivia Gregory and Lauren McRobbie. Black cap in lane five is Caris O'Reilly of Leicester. 18-year-old. And uh, she's pipped by Georgia Holgate by a quarter, well, 15 hundredths of a second. 103.82, first couple of sub-104s we've seen. Swimming a few heats beyond their uh, entry times. The 103 entries are in the heats like, uh, like 9, 10 and 11. So good performances from Holgate and Riley. Sky Carter, just a tenth of a second outside 104. And heat number six coming up. Just waiting for the uh, times to be verified. So uh, in the venue here, the times come up on the scoreboard as they touch. And they're in red lights. And then when the lights turn blue, that is them officially confirmed by the uh, timing boards downstairs. There's a question mark over one of the times. Can't uh, tell you which one. We're just waiting here for it to uh, flick over to blue so we can get underway with heat number six. So Holgate and O'Reilly, your uh, first home. Good atmosphere in the venue again on Saturday. Last night was fantastic. The finals last night were brilliant. We do it again tonight and tomorrow, both from five o'clock. And there was a DQ in the previous seat, hence the delay. DQ for lane one. That is, uh, Sophie Bromley, sadly. So on to heat number six. From the top then. Got Ruby Wheeler, Annabelle Pilgrim, Ella Thornburg, Joe Hobsley, Ijako, Frederica Gibellini, Charlotte White, Orleth McAndrew, Beth Hall, and Eve Tinsley. Quite a young pack in this one. Seven 15 year olds in the pool. A couple of 16s and a couple of 17s. Starting well in seven. All of the McAndrew, 15-year-old representing Hamilton Aquatics Dubai. An invited international team to Sheffield this year. They, uh, they can make their way into finals and win medals. Hopefully they'll be classed as commemorative. And uh, nobody's going to lose out if they're beaten by an HJ Dubai swimmer. Uh, multiple medals if required. It looks like it's going to be a win in 8-6 for Orleth McAndrew. Yeah, half a body length or so. Great swim, 103.83. In fact, good times across the board. Charlotte White, second best. And Asia Co, 104.72 to uh, grab third place in the heat. What are we looking for then in terms of making a final? So, to get into the open final... You're probably looking at no more than one minute and a half a second. And this is just me looking at the timing sheets here. And to get into a junior final, you're probably looking at the absolute maximum. Uh, 102.5 maybe. Maybe even sub 102 to get into a junior open final. Heat. Seven, We've got Hannah Peter, Hattie Varley, Rachel Hornby, Faye McDonough, Bethan Endicott, Charlotte Smith, Emma Van Selm, Alicia Corver, Charlotte Moores and Nuria Nassar. And we have had a couple of quick starters in Smith and Selm. 
Half a second ahead of the field. Maintain the advantage they took to halfway. Best of the rest in lane zero, Hannah Peter. We'll wait and see. But your winner in lane six is going to be Emma Van Sell. 102.87. That's a cracker, that one. Charlotte Smith, 103.24. And uh, Peter's just outside 104. Now, 102.87 for Van Sell. It's one and a half seconds quicker than at entry time for the 18 year old from Bromley. Heat number eight. We've got Megan Davies, Anna Stansfield, Alice Weston, Natasha Whitehall, Despoina Giannakaki, Emily Mears Bentley, Libby Harris, Isla Jones, Madison Johnston, and Annabelle Dewhurst. Qualifying entry times now below 104. Tight at the top, 1600s between Johnson Davies and Mears Bentley. And at Madison Johnson from Doncaster in lane number eight, 16 years old. She's going to lead Emily Mears Bentley from Leicester in lane number five. So second from bottom in the black cap. Three or four strokes to go. And she will touch home first. Very close in the end, two tenths of a second, but a 103.4 for Johnson. And, uh, Gina Karki, in fact, took silver. Uh, sorry, not silver, second place, that's later. 5 p.m. onwards, the medals <laughs> race it. And uh, third place, far side, Megan Davies. I'm sure she'll be happy with a 103.77. Yeah, don't get carried away. Gold, silver and bronzes galore from 5 p.m. tonight. Heat number nine, Millie Checkley, Olivia newman Baronius. Chloe Hurst, Abby Lacey, Blythe Kinsman, Amy Canny, Rebecca Amore, Olivia Hunter, Grace Conroy and Abigail Jolly. Every athlete here can go sub 104. Blythe Kinsman, 14 year old from Mount Kelly. In lane four is a 103.7 swimmer, youngest in the pool. But what a great opening 50 from the girl to her side. Amy Canny, the 18-year-old, having a crack in first 75. And, uh, turns with a bit of clear water, a couple of body lengths. Red cap in lane three. Is uh, Abby Lacey. Looks like she's taken the rest of the field, leading them home. But your winner in a one minute, 0.69, Amy Canny. Crikey. It's uh, going to raise some eyebrows in the later heats. Abby Lacey, 103.64, three seconds back for second place. Heat 10, can anybody get a one minute 69? I mean, that, that's good enough to get her into one of the final three heats. Heat 10, Valerie Giron, Emily Brook, Ariana Knoll, Lydia Parker, Zara Davies, Ellie O'Keefe, Molly Chambers, Ella Bainbridge, Lucy Turner and Caitlin Lansom.
Well, this race is a little bit different. Still got a leader, Lydia Parker of Winchester in three. Annie O'Keefe in five and to her side, Molly Chambers of Doncaster in six. And this is a very close front four, the centre four lanes. Your, uh, your winner is going to be Lydia Parker of Winchester. And then it moves from side to side, 102.82 versus a 102.99 for Chambers. Davies and O'Keefe. Six and seven tenths back. Heat 11 of 15 coming up next. So just a very short delay whilst one of our men's races gets underway. It's the uh, Heat 8 of the 200 metre butterfly. They do dovetail the races really nicely here in the venue. And we can they get underway with uh, Heat 11, Eliza Pinkstone, Jessica Jane Applegate, Marissa Booth, Olivia Marshall, Annabelle Smith, Anna Farrow, Amber Downham, Ariel Honsberger, Jessica Cross and Georgia Pease. Smith, a 102.77 swimmer, 18 all from Bromley, leads through 50, as she will do through 75. And the Farrow of Ellesmere joins her in the centre lanes. Third from bottom in the orange cap, Hamilton Dubai's Ariel Honsberger. She could spoil the party for second place. Nope, grabs third. Annabelle Smith does it. 102.82. Seven hundreds between her and uh, Anna Farrow and Oriella uh, Honsberger. Seven hundreds separating your top three. Ladies, heat number 12. Okay, let's go straight into heat 12. Amy Corcoran, Millie Goodman Stroh. Kira Noon, Yasmin Sheffield, Phoebe Cooper, Millie Scotchbrook, Leah Evans, Constance Phillips, Kate Baxter, and Charlotte Berry. What a quick start by Charlotte Berry of Sheffield in uh, lane number nine, closest to us. Flew out the box through the first 20 metres. In lane number four, currently in uh, fifth place, is Phoebe Cooper, just 13 years old Phoebe Cooper. To her left-hand side is 21-year-old Millie Scotchbrook, and to her right is 17-year-old Yasmin Sheffield. She, on paper, is the quickest in the pool. Now, a good battle now between uh, bottom Charlotte Berry and third from bottom Constance Phillips. Sheffield versus Nova Centurion. And in lane number two coming through in the final 25 metres, grabs second place Kira Noon. The 101.81 for Phillips. And uh, Charlotte Berry after that rapid start settles for third in 102.32. They are split by Kira Noon. And we're into our final four heats. Eight thirteen. Melody Jones, Ekaterina Price, Laura Dickinson, Maisie Elliott, Georgina Pryor, Betsy Wizard, Kate Mills, Amy Brainbridge, Catherine Elland, and Jessica Lawton.
Now we have our first swimmers here who can go sub one minute. That is Georgina Pryor in lane four, 23-year-old from DaVencio, and uh, Betsy Wizard. Had a good day yesterday, Betsy, 18-year-old from Northampton. And she's uh, not hanging about, is uh, Georgina Pryor. Betsy Wizard closest to her, but still over a second back. Lane three, Maisie Elliott of Loughborough. Fantastic swimming university, Loughborough. But there's no stopping Pryor and Wizard. Look forward to seeing them go head to head in the final again a little bit later. Or just to make their times really. We're going to get a sub one minute here quite comfortably. Could get two. Yeah, we do. 58 52 for Georgina Pryor. And then 0.54 for Wizard. 8100s outside is Maisie. Maisie, that's the fourth fastest time we've seen so far. After Amy Canney's 1 minute 0.69 in heat number nine. So currently there, you're four looking for a final spot. And uh, all of those in the uh, 18 or 16 plus category so in the looking for the open final as we've got 10 16 and unders for the junior final heat 14 harriet rogers ella chain sarah kalowska may bradburn sophie freeman jessica calderbank sasha thomas emily ford chloe harris and natalie sanford a couple more sub minute entry times 58 96 from sophie freeman just 17 years old Already had a fairly good day yesterday. Jessica Calderbank, 24 years old, 59.77. And uh, Freeman trailing Calderbank at halfway. It's much the same story as we had in heat number 13, where the two sub minute swimmers are both a second or so quicker on paper and in the pool. Race for third place, third cap from top, the pink cap. That is Sarah Kalowska of Hatfield. So again, all these top three swimmers in the 18 plus category. So what can they do in terms of times? Calderbank 59 at 76. Sophie Freeman matches the time of Amy Canny from eight nine. Kalowska 101.6. So I am trying to do some mental maths now. That is seven times under 101 currently for the 18 and, uh, sorry, 17 and overs. And we've got two swimmers here that can go well under one minute. So it's a matter of get your calculators out after this one. But it's set up to be an incredible final later on this. Heat 15, Caitlin Fry, Maisie Thornton, Molly Main, Alma Dahl, Emily Large, Isabel Goodwin, Lucy Thornton, Lottie Wynne Jones, Erica Pasakinskati, and Lucy Fox. So I think we predicted earlier that a 101 was the kind of time to get into the open final and 102 and a half uh, the junior final. It's panning out that way at the moment. Isabella Goodwin leads, 17 year old from Leeds, 59 35 entry. Quickest of anybody in the event is Emily Large. 20-year-old from Bath, 57.8. And they're going to go into the final 25. Absolutely side by side. In lane number two is Molly Main. And Molly Main's a 16-year-old. Can she make her way into the open final? It's going to be really, really close. I think she may have missed out, or she might get one of the final spots, but Emily Large and Isabella Goodwin are going to join Sophie Freeman, Jessica Calderbank, Georgina Pryor, and Betsy Wizard for starters, and a couple more. But we'll have to wait and see regards who grabs the last couple of spots in the Open final. Oh, what a final. I'm looking forward to that one. 100-meter butterfly. It's going to be our seventh final in the uh, heat from five o'clock onwards. So we can now 
move on to our uh, second final event of this uh, mini session. It's the women's 50 metre breaststroke. 18 heats to come. And uh, it shouldn't take long whatsoever. Because none of them should take much longer than 35 seconds. And they get as quick as uh, down to the, the mid 30s. So we're missing Abby Mitchell from heat number one. But we've got Eleanor Perks and Amelia Rhodes. Both 16 years old. Both coming with 34.8. A 35 25 for Perks against a point one two over the six for Amelia Rhodes. Heat number two, Amelia Johns, Chloe Platt, Amelia Bartlett, Lily Brabin, Richardson Selby, Lauren Crawford, Annalisa Fenner, Kirsty Neal, Gabrielle Idlebeavers, and Millie Shaw. Over in the men's pool, currently still with the uh, 200 meter butterfly, heat 12 of that event. So 34.6 seconds is the quickest time in front of us for heat number two. We've seen 35 and a half from heat number one over in lane zero. 33.47 for Amelia Johns. That is over a second, 1.3 seconds quicker for the 15-year-old than her entry time. She has pulled out an absolute cracker there over on the far side. Lauren Crawford still with a good time, 34-12 and 34-17 for Richardson Selby. And then we're looking at the scoreboard thinking, hang on. Heat three, Ellie Parks, Lily Blount, Sophie Hamilton, Gemma Dilks, Noel Sharma, Hallie Woodhead, Afa Brooks, Lee Marie Derry, Charlotte Mead, and Scarlett Tinwell. First to rise on the way home, Hallie Woodhead. And Coventry. Youngest in the pool, 14-year-old Scarlett on this near side. But it's lane at number three, Gemma Dilks, who takes it 33.9. For Hallie Woodhead and Sophie Hamilton. Heat number four, Lara Turner, Charlotte Cope, Colleen Devlin, Eleanor Hall, Lara Mills, Georgia Lee, Molly Topping, Ellie Harsent, Hannah Poulter and Cora Lanham. First to turn was Eleanor Hall of Millfield. She's in the green cap, fourth from top. As we uh, 
move into the final 10. She's still just about in the lead. She will bring this one home, I believe. She does indeed. And a tenth of a second over Colleen Devlin. And then a move to the centre for Georgia Lee, third place. Can't quite match the times set in the previous heats of the uh, low 33s. So Amelia Johns from heat two. Still our quickest through four heats. Heat five, Rosie Winslow, Grace Jackson, Jasmine Carter, Ellie Matthews, Anna Sayers, Katie Fowns, Macy Norton, Kate Muggleston, Madison Lorenz, and Eve Cooper. Entry times for these swimmers, 34.3 and up to 34.4. In lane four, the winning time, 33.54 for Anna Sayers. Katie found ahead of Muggleston and Renz. Now the entry times, you can always take to the, a little pinch of salt. They can have been set back as far back as sort of 2019. Uh, a lot has happened in between then and now. Unfortunately, uh, as you know, plenty of pool closures or delayed openings over the last 18 to 24 months. So uh, some big disadvantages in terms of training. A little bit of travel involved to get to pools. And, uh, heat number six in lanes three and five. That's Anna Healy and Isabel Penniquet. And they will be your top two. 33.57, so lots of regular times now in the mid-33s. About a third of the way through this event, it's number six of, uh, yeah, 18 in total. I think seven, lane zero, Isabel Montague, Caitlin Hartley, Tia Hendley, Madison Nuttall, Jodie Dukes, Olivia Cooper, Alice Bailey, Sadie Pratt-Filka, Amelia Elliott and Kira Noon. Good swim underway for Jodie Dilks of Tiverton in lane number four. This near side, Kira Noon of Bristol. Uh, Noon takes third. In fact, yeah, Dilks did get first place, 33-42 and six tenths, six hundredths back is Madison Nuttall. And uh, seven of the ten times, sub 34. Yet to see a sub 32, still the quickest time of the event. Heat number two, Amelia Johns, 33-15. So so heat number eight, you've got Gracie Parker, Emily Price, Holly Robinson, Hannah Bowley, Anna Stansfield, Imogen Stoddart, Lauren Richards, Natasha Prophet, 
Megan Pye and Kira Wookie. A really wide range of ages. On the far side, lane zero, Gracie Parker of the Buzzardon Phoenix, just 13 years old in heat number eight. She's not going too badly. And in lane six, Lauren Richards of uh, Home Swimmer from Sheffield. Knows the pool very, very well. It's that to her advantage. 33-16 for Richards. Ahead of Bowley and Stoddart. Ela Norton, Emily Brooke, Olivia Lloyd Davies, sorry, Olivia Lloyd Jones, Abby Morrill, Louise Brester, Amy Brown, Kaja Rickleton, Emily Morgan Hughes, Zara Dodd, and Macy Dexter. In this near side, Macy Dexter, that is this time in nine, representing Cambridge, 15 years old. But she's uh, going to be pulled back by several across the pool. In fact, she takes fourth in the end. Amy Brown came through the quickest. 33 41, 700 to Abby Murrell. In fact, Olivia Lloyd Jones got first place with a delayed time, 33 34. So Amy Brown was second place. Murrell third and uh, Morgan Hughes in fourth. Heat 10, Ava Kelly, Ellen Bagley, Ava Marley, maybe Collier, Lauren Borbrent, Holly Hagen, Lucia Guilford Groves. Lucy Moores, Lotta Schultz and Bethan McMillan. Again, a real spread across the pool here. Five or six uh, from the near, right across to the far side. Didn't want to call that one. Mabley Collier, though, 33-34 takes it. Tenth ahead of Ava Kelly. And three more hundreds back to Lotta Schultz. And all of a sudden we're on heat number 11. Well, Ellie Kennington, Sarah O'Brien, Charlotte Hardy, Grace Pointer, Sophia Baker. Iona Trainer, Violet Hearfield, Evie Evie Float, Flora Perkin and Caris O'Reilly. So we're still waiting for our first sub 33. We had a couple just a tenth outside. We will get there eventually because the last three or so heats are all sub 33. But who's going to claim it? In Southern, Evie Float representing Plymouth Leander. They're looking at lane zero and two. In fact, Ellie Kennington, Charlotte Hardy. Yeah, they take one and two. Easy flow, third place. Looked good for uh, into the final 15 metres. Super finishes from Kennington and Hardy. Heat number 12. The men's racing has now finished in uh, the opposite pool for the time being. Wow, Jesse Lee Jens, Ella Bainbridge, 
Naima Amit Fire, Elisha Cookson, Eliah Richards, Rihanna Smith, Georgia Gussie, Charlotte Bianchi, India Sharp, and Denise Elena Gogu. In four, it's Aaliyah Richards, Borough of Waltham Forest. 15 years old. And uh, that's probably the ball oh, smashes the timing ball, doesn't she? My goodness. 32 27, takes our first sub 20 33. And by an absolute distance, 32.81 for Alicia Cookson. That would have been a good time on its own, but uh, Aaliyah Richards, I think that's the hardest I've seen somebody hit the timing board so far this weekend. I didn't want to leave any um, any doubts in the uh, timing board's mind that she uh, she had arrived. Just a delay getting these times confirmed. They're up on the scoreboard here in red lights. And uh, there is a DQ in lane number one. There's uh, Mike Kelly's Ella Bainbridge, unfortunately. But all other times stand. So it doesn't affect your top three in the heat or uh, the great times by Richards and Cookson. So we can move on. To heat number 13 is Leia Schlossen, Sophie Payne, Naomi Maguire, Madison Lay, Amy Mead, Yasmin Zakuna, Rebecca Keatley, Nellie Clark, Catherine Danes, and Julie Sala. Julie Sala, H.A. Dubai swimmer against three and five. That's Madison Lay and Jasmine Dakuna. Dakuna nabs it, 32.9. Delayed time for Madison Lay, second place, sub 33 again. And uh, the quick starting, Julie Sala, third place, down in lane number nine. Heat 14. Just five to come. Heat, Louise Jones, Zoe Corsi, Kamalima Stoymanova, Emily Farr, Jennifer Holland, Hermione Rowe, Natalie Druitt, Laura de Crass, Georgia Mags, and Eliza Powell. Side lane started well. Louise Johns Jones of uh, Royal in zero and Eliza Powell of Bromley in nine. Green cap in lane number seven, third from bottom is Laura de Crass. And, uh, she's going to get it, in fact. Laura de Crass, 32 35. Eliza Powell was going well. Fourth place, though, because Emily Farr and Louise Jones were just a little bit quicker. With four heats to go, this is where we're going to see a, uh, start to see a real drop in times and uh, find out who's making our Open and Junior final. The men can now commence their warm-ups. Again, we just wait for a result confirmation. Only seen two disqualifications today. Do you know, I think they've both been in lane one, actually. And uh, DQ, it's uh, Hermione Rowe in uh, lane number five that gets an uh, uh, unfortunate DQ. Heat number 15, Ellie Rose Lyon. Georgina Wright, Louise Edmonds, 
Lana Brookhaven, Constance Mortimer, Ellie Sybil Perkins, Molly Monk, Jade Kersher, Chloe Scout and Molly Lee. A 14 year olds in heat number 15. Ellie, Lowe's, Ellie Rose Lyon of Norwich. She's on the far side of your screen. And then third from bottom, Jade Kersher of Hamilton Aquatics Dubai. And she is going well. She's going to take second place in the heat, I think. She does indeed. 14 year old Kersher. Winner is Louise Edmonds, 32 35 in lane number two. And we have just three heats to go. So we get the quick ones now. We're going to go sub 32, I think, here. Everyone capable of sub 33. Georgie Hintner, Alexandra Mutacic. Paige Fenton, Sophie King, Ashley Ransom, Sienna Robinson, Jessica Eiling, Beth Young, Chloe Brown, and Hannah Woodcock. Ashley Ransom, 26-year-old from Hatfield in lane four. 31.4 swimmer. She's in the pink cap in the middle. And Sienna Robinson, 16-year-old, so 10 years her junior but just 0.4 seconds slower on the entry times, 31.8 for her. But look at lane six, that is Jessica Eiling from Brentwood. She does spoil the party a little, 31.55 for Sienna Robinson. Ashley Ransom also sub 32, as is Jessica Eiling. A hundredth of a second separating them. So I think you'll see all three of those, you'll definitely see Sienna, Sienna Robinson. And it's just a matter of uh, lanes for 30, uh, sorry, Ashley Ransom and Jessica Eiling. Couple of heats to go. We've got four more sub-32 swimmers coming. And in fact, even a sub-31 in heat number 18. So heat 17, Megan Daly, Claire Helio, Lucy Grant, Morgan Penny, Molly Main, Hazel Osgood. Pixie Lyle Klasicki, Emily Riggett, Jana Spinner and Katie Andrews. Molly Main, 16-year-old in lane four, wearing the orange cap of uh, Dubai. 31.03 swimmer. And Hazel Oskin to her side of Mount Kelly, 31.8. Going nicely early on, the pink cap second from bottom. That is Jana Spinner, 22-year-old from Hatfield. 32.6 is her entry time. But look at Molly May moving away, 30.93. That is super stuff. Osgan 31.55. And in third, um, Lucia Grant, 32.34. The best of the remaining eight. But uh, that is a statement from Molly May, 30.93. So here we go, final chance then to get into uh, one of the finals. Got a couple of 16 and unders here. Lucy Buckingham in lane zero, just 15 years old. Then Shannon Campbell, Lucy Canavan, Alice Holloway, Megan Morrison, Laura Kinley, Beth Dennis, Isabel Renwick, Alicia Pollard and Kirsten Powell. And Kirsten Powell, our second under a 16 year old, well, 16 and under, she is 16 age category in the green cap right in front of you. But you're going to keep your eye on Megan Morrison, 23-year-old from Loughborough in lane number four and the black cap. She's a 30-76 swimmer. She's currently trailing Laura Kinley of the Isle of Man, 25-year-old in 31.56 that entry time. So this is racing just to get into the final. Then you just need to go sort of sub 31, 31 and a half would be absolutely fine. That's close, you know. Laura Kinley, 31.32. Megan Morrison, 31.56. Uh, so Megan Morrison, the fastest on paper in the event, is not going to get the lane draw she was looking for. She'll be in lane sort of five or six, possibly. But that does conclude then 
this mini session here in Sheffield. We are back with you at 2.30, when in the women's pool, I'll be bringing you the 400 meter freestyle and the 100 meter IM. Now, a little bit before that in the men's pool from 1.40, it's the men's 100 meter freestyle and then the men's 1500 meter freestyle slower heats. Bob Ballard is gonna bring you that. I'm going to join you again here for the women. So for the women's 2.30, the men's 1.40 on a separate stream. Just go to the Swim England YouTube channel. Both are available to you. If you don't miss what you want to miss it, you can watch it back a little bit later. But for the time being, thank you for joining me. Come back shortly to Sheffield and the National Winter Championships 2021.
stroke. Back to Sheffield Ponce Forge International Sports Centre. Back for live streamed coverage of the National Winter Championships. Now, to kick things off, I know you're anticipating or expecting the women's 400 metre freestyle, but first up, we have a swim off to get this session underway. It's for a place in the women's 50 metre breaststroke. It's Laura Lacrasse versus Louise Edmonds, could not be separated in the heats. So they go one more time and one of them will make it into the open final this evening from five o'clock onwards. Had a great night last night. You do not want to miss that later on from 5 p.m. onwards. Get it in your diaries. So couldn't be separated earlier on, but this time they will be because in lane number five, your winner by a few tenths of a second is Louise Edmonds. She makes her way into the open final, Laura Class. Unfortunately, loses eight, both of them over uh, 18 years old too, so no junior open final um, for them to fall into. And I'm sure we'll see Laura competing again across the rest of the weekend. Now, in this little session, we've got the women's 400 metre freestyle. We are going to see 14 heats, and then we'll have 17 heats in the women's 100 metre individual medleys. That's what we've got to look forward to the next hour and a half, two hours. And I hope you did enjoy your break. If you're coming back to us, I'm sure you'll know the score. But we have got two pools operating. We've got a men's pool and a women's pool operating here in Sheffield. My colleague Bob Ballard, her name and her voice you'll recognise, is currently talking you through the 1500 metre heats in the men's pool. And myself, Ewan, as I have done so far this week, and then we'll continue to do so, talk you through the women's. And then it will come together for the final session later on. And we can all enjoy that one together, all in one pool. So just only one stream to focus on. Remember, anything that you do miss, you can go back and watch later. Everything is available on the Swim England YouTube channel for you. So heat number one of the women's 400 metre freestyle already underway. From lane one, you've got Naomi Maguire, Rue Fowler, Megan Davies, Charlotte Harding. Francesca Baber, Holly Wilson, and Lucy Parsons. So these heats, to begin with, are going to take around about 4 minutes 25, 4 minutes 35, that kind of region. All of these swimmers in the pool are 4.30 swimmers. couple of youngsters in here too. 13 years old Holly Wilson in lane number six representing Leeds. And, uh, just one spot south of her, Lucy Parsons. And the uh, red cap at the front of your screen. 14 year old from Liverpool. Once we get to the heat numbers, uh, 12, 13, 14, you can expect to see times as low as 4.10. So to be getting into the open final, you're going to be looking at a range of time between 4.10 and 4.15. And for the junior final, anywhere up to roughly, you might squeeze in with a, just a sub 4.20. That's just, a, that's just some maths looking at the entry times here. Plenty of PBs already across the weekend. And the finals last night were um, really fantastic. So much noise in the venue. Some really good crowds in already yesterday on this three-day weekend. No one knows what's if you missed any of it so far, or you think you might miss some today or tomorrow, and again, all sat there waiting for you at your leisure on the Swim England YouTube channel. Shout out to our sponsors, Tia, Merthyr Pools, Sports England, Sports Systems, and the Sheffield City Trust. Big, big team here in Sheffield to bring this all together and let it run smoothly, professionally and safely. Huge numbers of uh, officials, referees, volunteers. And most of them you don't even see beavering away behind the scenes. It goes for the folks 
in the venue itself too, here at Pons Forge. If you've uh, been down this weekend, you'll have felt the buzz around the around the venue. Even as you come through in the big glass doors, just a, a hive of activity. Swimmers, families and friends all looking forward to the final championships of the year. So this is close, this is nice and tight. In three, you've got Megan Davies of Coventry. And in five, Francesca Baber of Flittick. Two tenths separating them. And a couple of lengths to go. In six, Holly Wilson, City of Leeds. Trying to make it a front trio as opposed to a front pair. She's having a very strong swim, actually. In the yellow cap and the golden swimsuit. You know what? I think she might come through and take this one right in the last 50 metres. Didn't look too involved with 50 to go. And she might just be held off, actually. Great start to this session. Nice win. 300 separating Baber and Wilson in the first heat of the 400 metre freestyle for the women. Megan Davies. Rounds out your top three. 4.33, 47. Two. From the top, Amy Kenworthy, Gemma Dilks, Molly Briggs, Kiva Prentice, Darcy Leonard, Alice Weston, Abigail Jackson, Sophie Rusby, Orlith McAndrew and Emma Fleming. Once again, all these girls in the fourth, very, very low 430, 431s. Fastest on paper of the 10, Darcy Leonard, only 13 years old, representing Guildford. She's in lane number four, the uh, black cap with the green spot on the side. Another green cap leading the way, that's Emma Fleming of Millfield, right at the bottom of your screen. Seem to be a uh, one half of a chevron moving from this to the far side of the pool. A couple of anomalies. But being led by Fleming, 16 years old, 4.32 on the entry. Now we do get some nice breaks here during these sessions, uh, a two or three, one and a half hour breaks. So uh, it is good to uh, have a walk around the city and uh, see all the swimmers and their uh, families doing the same. They're not hard to spot. But uh, the, the heavens have opened in Sheffield over the last few hours and uh, decided not to go for a walk. But a colleague of mine did and came back uh, fairly damp. So I think we are the, the best place to be in Sheffield right now is Ponds Forge. A second out to Busby, Busby from Fleming now. Still all happening on this side of the pool. Southern Sophie Busby, 15 years old from DaVencio. In six, that's Abigail Jackson of Birmingham. She's making a move with 150 to go. Certainly uh, tied at the top now with Emma Fleming. And 
number five, Alice Weston of Wickham. She won't want to lose touch with the front three into the final hundred. And it was Jackson with a lead now of Fleming, so a 0.8 disadvantaged turns a half a second in her favour. There's a one and a half second better split on the penultimate 50. back one more time Alice Weston of Wickham in five not managed to make up too much ground so two more lengths must be back into second place Fleming drops down to third On the far side in lane number one Gemma Dilks of Tiverton just making her presence known could her be uh, sliding her way into third place in this seat? But I think it's going to be a little bit too little too late. And, uh, what a fantastic end to Abigail Jackson's heat. 4.27.51. Four seconds or so quicker than her entry time. Long term or early leader Emma Fleming, third place. And Sophie Busby, she was always in that front three. And she finishes second. 4.27, the new fastest time. Ladies, heat number three. And uh, on to heat number three. In the men's pool, currently just coming to the end of heat number two in the men's 1500 metre freestyle. In the pool, in heat three for the women, it's Emily Headley, Evie Clare, Emma Price, Ruby Knight, Emily Shuttleworth, Lily Chambers, Ava Cook, Neve Carroll, Isabel Blackhurst, and Lola Burns. youngster in this one. Just have a look through the heat sheets here. And I think we've got our final 13-year-old. We do. And, uh, heat number three. That's Ava Cook in lane six, City of Sheffield. Home swimmer. A quick start down. Second from bottom. It's Isabel Blackhurst. She's just 14 years old. In fact, my goodness me, 12-year-old Evie Clare up in lane number one. Love these endurance events, don't they, the youngsters? So almost two seconds from Blackhurst out to Shuttleworth. Another full second out to Chambers. Two seconds as you were, Shuttleworth Chambers, Burns, Claire, and Cook. I do like looking at the uh, on the, think the west side of the venue in the seating. It is a fantastic venue. I'm sure a lot of you have been here before the best in the UK and on the far side there's about 15 rows of seats you just can't quite see them above the top of your screen there above that wall the uh, seating goes back about 15 rows or so and uh, just spotting the different teams in their little groups sat in packs together 
willing on their teammates. Just tightening it up. So four and eight. Shuttleworth and Blackhurst. It was 1.8 seconds. Now it's just 0.1. And, uh, if that got three involved, if not four or five or six, and. This is really coming together into the last uh, few lengths. On, Emily Shuttleworth now behind Lily Chambers in five. One of our youngsters, Ava Cook in six in your top trio. Far side lane one, that's Evie Clare, City of Manchester. In eight and nine, nearest to screen, Isabel Blackhurst and Lola Burns. But, uh, Great second half to this race from Lily Chambers. In the red cap there, furthest right of your screen. 4.27 is the quickest time we've seen so far. It's going to be right on that, might just dip under. She does, 4.26 and a half. And uh, Ava Cook came through to get a second place. Wow. Emily Shuttleworth always up there in fourth and third was Evie Clare she came through not too bad at the end as well 428.9 so uh, a bit of a mixed bag through the first 250 meters and they all started to uh, play the game again Ladies. heat number four coming up Taking part, heat number four. You've got Louise Bressler, Jessica Brandon, Olivia Martin, Isabel Hayes, Francesca Whiting, Lauren Bradley Holt, Jess Widowson, Evie Woolley, Emily Cornish, and Ruby Lloyd. In fact, that'll teach me for looking down at my paperwork instead of the screen. <laughs> Because uh, quite clearly we don't have Francesca Whiting and Lauren Bradley Holt. And even lane two's Olivia Martin. So just seven competing in our heat number four. Only the second day of the competition. Of course, a lot of these swimmers taking part in multiple events. It's quite astonishing sometimes the number of events uh, these swimmers will be involved in. So if you have got a little niggle, well you need to think about dropping one as the competition progresses. Uh, you're probably going to drop the ones that maybe aren't your forte. So through 150 metres, five girls within 1.5 seconds. incredibly close isn't it for uh, through 150 for the entire field to be separated by a second is quite remarkable we won't see that too often there's a bigger uh, tactical choice to be made in the longer events so we go out hard and hold on and maintain some keep that final gear in reserve and put a push on right at the end we're still in that situation. Might just be more than a second this time. One and a half, maybe. Yeah, 1.21 at the halfway stage. Your leader in lane number six, Jess Widowson, representing the city of Leeds, 15 years old. All these girls capable of 4.30 or sub.
We've had a 4.27 and a 4.26. And Nathan's uh, just moved back to two seconds across the field. And a second back to Hayes from Widowson. of the lane judges there being able to have a just a five minute break if they're on lane five or four if they wanted to they could turn around and watch the men's 1500 meter freestyle currently in heat number three Paul Ballard talking you through the men's pool a little bit of a break now over in lane zero that's Louise Bressler of Guildford another 15 year old this is that so two 15 year olds leading the way in heat four and turning for the penultimate time back down to 0.81 so Bressler's made a little move here she's going to be followed by Jessica Brandon, Nova Centurion in one, the green cap second from top on your screen. So 4.26, the quickest time we've seen. Bit of pride on the line, of course, in winning your heat. And yeah, look at Jessica Brandon now, chasing down Louise Bressler. Can she catch Jess Willison? I don't think she will. If there was half a length more, it was a possibility, but lovely finish for those two on the far side. Widowson, you win a 4.30.01. And then 300, sorry, um, do some maths, 1,100 separating <laughs> Brandon and Bressler, second and third on the far side. And uh, Edie Woolley, 4.32, the best of the rest. But Jess Widowson led from the start and brought it home. number five so Bryony Lowe, Millie Checkley, Zara Beaumont, Olivia Sheehan, Emily Johnson, Lola Proctor, Layla Flower, Megan Sharp, Katie Leary and Rachel Hornby every one of them under 4.30 entry had a couple of occasions already this weekend where if we see the early heats the, the first half of the heat so there's 14 heats in this one where a middle heat swimmer has put in a remarkable time to uh, put themselves in contention for a final to do so just to recap we're going to be looking we need around about a 420 ish if they're going to be looking at getting into either one of the finals I mean the open final probably sub 415 Emily Johnson in the middle. Along with uh, the far side trio, Low, Checkley and Beaumont. for the rest of the day uh, conclusion of this 400 meter freestyle again 14 heats we've got the women's 100 meter individual medley and uh, from five o'clock is now our finals we're going to start that session with the fastest of the 1500 meter freestyle heats for the gents and then from then on it is Open and Junior Finals with a women's 50-metre freestyle 
in men's 100 breast, women's 200 back, men's 200 IM, women's 100 meter butterfly. That will be a brilliant final, the women's 100 meter butterfly. The heats were fantastic. The men's 50 meter back, women's 50 meter breast, men's 200 butterfly, women's 400 freestyle, men's 100 meter freestyle, and we close out the evening with the women's 100 meter individual medley. at 23 medal races for you later on. We'll have a break before then. Still leading then lane at number four is Emily Johnson. That's uh, almost one and a half seconds. So already so far in this event, we've generally seen the leader at around about the halfway mark being able to hold on. Have a little look at this near side. That is Rachel Hornby. And the top trio 50 metres ago included Millie Checkley. So that is still the case. Lane eight, Katie Leary. She's got the advantage of swimming right alongside Rachel Hornby, who's uh, chasing the leader. They can act as a little pack. Just feed off each other. If you get the sense, this is going to get a little bit closer now. And 50 to go. In a 3.52. So she's on track for definitely a sub 30. Could be as low as 4.26, 4.27. We've seen those kind of times already. comes and uh, Rachel Hornby still trying her absolute best I think she's gonna come up just a two or three strokes short she's uh, put a lovely effort in there and it was indeed a 425 and a half in the end for Emily Johnson a second and 100th ahead of Rachel Hornby and it was Millie Sheckley so your trio that were leading about 100 metres ago, did finish in that order. Emily Johnson, fastest time so far through five heats. Heat number six, Charlotte Johnson, Lucy Dixon, Olivia Humphrey, Emma Bennett, Eliza Pinkstone, Emily McWilliam, Rachel Bradley, Evangeline Belt, Maya Watt, and Callie Ranshaw. One lane vacant of uh, Maya Watt of Ellesmere. Very much an endurance session, this, currently. The women's four accompanied by the men's 1500. So thankfully that means, as you may have seen in previous sessions, let's say you've got a 50 metre event and a 100 metre event going on side by side. You do get fairly, uh, not long, but often delays whilst uh, one race is getting underway, so the second one has to wait to start theirs. Of for these longer events, not the case whatsoever. Not a lot to split between. Uh, Olivia Humphrey, Emma Bennett and Evangeline Belt. About a third of a second. 
bring in a nice pair on the far side of the screen. Charlotte Johnson and Lucy Dixon. Which I must say, with them, um, with the exception of Callie Ramshaw, who's got a little bit of work to do to get back into this race. Nothing to uh, say who your winner is going to be across the next seven swimmers. Halfway stage, it is 2.46 separating your top seven. You could be mistaken for turning on your TV and thinking this is a, a one or 200 meter race. Hundreds between Belton and Free. Five McWilliam. Start dropping off the front seven. Charlotte Johnson, Olivia Humphrey, and Evangeline Belt. They are the three to catch now. Encouragement there from the bottom of the screen. You do see that motion a lot, don't you, by the side of the pool. The old quick uh, hand above the head, push on, push on, go, go, go. And 75 metres between the bright pink swimsuit of Evangeline Belt and a victory in heat six. So got to fend off Olivia Humphrey third from top and Charlotte Johnson oh no she's made a mistake Evangeline Bell she thought she'd finished 50 meters to go Evangeline so she's had a short break and surely she can't have a break and come back and win this one it would be quite astonishing She's probably got a bit of fire in her belly, though, because she's let back into this one. Rachel Bradley on the far side, still got Charlotte Johnson and Olivia Humphrey. I'd love it if she could do it. She's just going to come up short. That's a real, real shame for Evangeline Belt, but she's still taken third place. Oh, she'll be kicking herself. Stopped with 50 metres to go. And Olivia Humphrey took advantage, took the win ahead of Rachel Bradley. And then Evangeline and fourth place Charlotte Johnson. So remarkably, still a good time for Evangeline Pierce. But uh, she probably won't want to see the replay of that. So we'll move on to heat number seven. Here you've got Georgina Chadwick, Ella Bloxage, Sophie Trail, Katie Hammond, Adele Zakarayska, Lauren Mew, Isla Jones, Lola Oke, Holly Lamb and Liberty Gordon. Seven. All these swimmers now uh, got a couple of sub 427s in capability. Nobody's higher than 428. Past this time is still a 425.
through 150, less than a tenth. Casey Hammond, Nova Centurion. 18 years old. Look at that, four of them. And Synchro. In one, that's Georgina Chadwick. In two, it's Sophie Trail. And then Katie Hammond. The red cap in lane number six, just before the below the yellow lane ropes is Isla Jones, City of Sheffield. In the men's pool now, we will have a spin off for the junior final 100 metre freestyle. So now we're going to be leading some two red caps up front. It's in lane zero, Georgina Chadwick. And in lane six, Isla Jones. In lanes two and three, Sophie Trail and Katie Hammond. Swimming together for third place in the heat. Virginia Chadwick, 17 years old, 4.27.58 is her entry time. Three quarters completed. And a 1.2 second lead. We've got a swim off in the men's pool. Just see it on your left hand side. And a swim off to get into the 100 metre freestyle junior final. Jan Springer and Harry Wynne Jones. I can uh, tell you that it's Harry Wynne Jones that takes it. So Chadwick just over a second now to Hammond. Last couple of lengths. In lane it's six and two. Battle of third place, Isla Jones and Sophie Trail. And then just a matter. Of the last dozen strokes or so for Georgina Chadwick in her home pool, she will take heat number seven. It's a lovely time too, 4.23.77, quickest time we've seen today. Katie Hammond and Isla Jones chasing in both in 4.25s. Takes us over the halfway mark in the event. That's heat number seven of 14 completed. Ladies for heat eight. In eight from lane zero, Annabelle Pilgrim, Elena Kay, Charlotte Room. Louise Ashford, Georgia Robertson, Amelia Bryan, Lucy Wheeler, Amelia Mool, Sophie Davies and Lydia Parker. Quick start in lane four, and is Georgia Robertson, another home swimmer, looking to match Georgina Chadwick of uh, the previous heat. 16 years old, Georgia. 4.24 is her entry time. And she's uh, taking heat eight by the scruff of the neck. Uh, so to the rest, come and get me. One second lead. Over Eleanor Kay of Bolton Metro in one. Yeah. Yeah. 
And uh, this early on, this is a fairly big split compared to what we've seen in previous seats. They've uh, sort of tucked together. It just takes one swimmer to play a different card, use a different game plan. And uh, the questions arise. 2.23 seconds now for Robertson. Amelia yeah. Mool in lane seven, that's the black cap, third from bottom. Swimming out of Loughborough. Fantastic setup for swimming at Loughborough. A couple of weeks ago at the British Universities Championship here in Sheffield at Portland's Forge. The, uh, the overall men's winners, overall women's winners. Best university across that three-day weekend. They've won that several times before, so... Always formidable, any Loughborough athletes. Big University, Stirling and Edinburgh always uh, bring a fantastic team to Bucks. British Universities and Colleges Sport is Bucks. So 2.50 down, still only one second. Robertson back to Mool. Just since the rest have got a little sniff now too. In five, that's Amelia Bryan of Ellesmere. And then just north of Georgia Robertson, you've got Charlotte Room and Louise Ashford. And yeah, here we go, 0 0.64 now, 100 metres to come. Four athletes within 2.2. And uh, she's getting hunted down, is Georgia Robertson. And the leader with 50 to go. It's going to be, I believe, Amelia Mool in Southern. In five, Amelia Bryan. And look at this. Wow. 250 metres ago, Georgia Robertson had a two body length lead. And now she's going to be struggling possibly to stay in the top four or five here. And she's been caught, overtaken, and now they begin to move away. Lovely little race between Amelia Mool in seven and Amelia Bryan in five. And it's going to be taken by the Loughborough students, Amelia Mool in seven. Winning time, fastest time today, 4.22.54. Georgia Robertson has to settle for, she'll be disappointed with fifth. First place for the first 300 metres. And Amelia Bryan second and Louise Ashford came through for third place. Number nine, Molly Fisher, Ruby Griffiths, Amber Downham, Oriel Honsberger, Ruby Wheeler, Millie Emmons, Jessica Arundel, Shannon Dalligan, Lena Took and Ija Co. All of them 423 swimmers. Uh, 
14 heats in total. Getting to the point now where a really, really good swim in one of these heats, and I mean really good, sort of six or sevens quicker than entry times, and they might just be putting a question mark in whether they can get into uh, a junior final. So our younger swimmers in this one, and there's uh, a fair few of them, two 15-year-olds in Ijako and Ruby Wheeler. And Ruby Griffiths also a uh, 15-year-old. Then 16-year-olds Molly Fisher, Amber Downham and Jessica Arundale. They're the six. But, um, if they did something special, there's a, there's a possibility. Uh, 200 metres down. Ruby Griffiths in one, Ariel Hansberger in three, and, uh, Ruby Wheeler in four. Ruby Wheeler, a girl I've seen swim a huge number of times, covering uh, the Swim England East region, most notably Kent and uh, pools like Basildon, Norwich, and uh, Luton. She is a fairly dominant force, Ruby Wheeler, back in Basildon. White cap in lane number one, Ruby Griffiths of Mount Kelly. Ariella Honsberger in the orange cap. She is representing Hamilton Aquatics Dubai, an invitational team here for this championship. So uh, if they are in the medals, they win commemorative medals. No, no uh, English national swimmer is denied any medals because of that. It's great to have them here. They have put out a really good team. We were on the podium a couple of times yesterday. So 100 to go. And the top two. Ruby Griffiths and Ariel Honsberger. Ruby Wheeler holding on to third place by a body length into the final 50. Don't think she'll be able to catch Griffiths or Honsberger. They're in a they're in a two-woman race for first place. It's a matter if Wheeler can hold off in lane five of Millie Emmons. And uh, Ella Cook will consider she's still in that fight as well. That'll be a big push. Back to the front, though. Final half a dozen strokes for Griffiths and Hansberger. And it is Griffiths does hold on in a 4.20.64. All good times there from the top four. But Griffiths sets the new marker at 4.20.64. Is heat number 10, Harmony Torrington, Sala Berno, Katie Thompson, Laura Hodges, Abigail Mize, Harriet Salisbury, Isabel Jobson, Evie Lelu, Emily Forward, and Harriet Oxley. So 4.20 our quickest time. Three swimmers in this seat. Laura Hodgson, Abigail Miles and Harriet Salisbury. All with entries in the 4.20. So if not in this seat, in the next one, we're going to start seeing those closer to those golden numbers of 4.15, 4.10, that kind of region. Going out the quickest, Sheffield's Abigail Miles. She's in the red cap in the centre of your screen. 
Harriet Salisbury next to her. Look at that, your top five, but not a lot to separate the 1.2 seconds. to see a little pack at the front last few heats it's uh, been one or two possibly three but you must say through 150 all 10 swimmers are in this race Just in case you're just joining us for the first time this weekend. First of all, thank you for coming along to watch the live stream coverage here from Ponds Forge at the English National Winter Championships. We have uh, two pools operating. You might have just seen in the background there another pool. That's not a warm up or a warm down pool. That is the men's pool. It's currently the 1500 metre freestyle heats over there colleague of mine, Bob Ballard, just a few metres to my left-hand side, talking you through the men's racing. Two streams available for you on the Swim England YouTube channel. Now through 2.50. OK, that's changed. Definitely a top trio, taking control and moving ahead. 50, 75 metres prior. They said everyone was in this. Well, if you're an optimist, that is still the case. But that three is Katie Thomas, sorry, Katie Thompson, Laura Hodgson, and Abigail Miles. They'll pretty, feel pretty happy with themselves with 100 to go. And they'll feel like they're in their own little race. Four or five body lengths back to the likes of Sarah Bernho and Isabel Jobson. They're in one and six. And 75, no change. So somebody needs to put a real big effort in behind them. And Laura Hodgson is doing that at the front. Moving away from Thompson and Miles. And she hold on for another 30 or so metres. Looking pretty good, isn't it? So let's look behind. Rather than uh, Thompson and Miles, you've then got in the fight for fourth, fifth and sixth. Got Isabel Jobson and Evie Leilu in six and seven. But, uh, back to the front and your winner. A 4.16.27. We said we were looking for a really good quick time. Well, Laura Hodgson has done exactly that. Fastest time by four seconds in the heats. And uh, 16 years old, Laura. So that is most definitely a marker for at least the junior final and the rest to beat. So on to heat number 11. Francis New on the far side. Then comes Lucy Fox, Pearl Griffiths, Sophie Main, Ashley Bailey, Lily Scott, Rhiannon Bowen, Alicia Dingle, Amy Monks and Tegan Child.
100 metres completed in heat number 11. And uh, by some distance, the closest, uh, I know it's early days, but the closest heat so far, nobody uh, moving away whatsoever. Alicia Dingle may disagree with me from Loughborough. Entry times, we've got five swimmers going sub 4.20. We've had a 4.16 from Laura Hodgson. And, uh, Hodgson, 16 years old, so that is a time for the junior final. We'll uh, certainly get some uh, senior or open times a bit quicker. And Alicia Dingle now is uh, she is uh, body length ahead now, so she can legitimately say she's uh, out in front with a lead. In the centre lanes, looking really strong, Ashley Bailey and Lily Scott. Alicia Dingle, just a slightly longer strokes. And it's uh, one second separating Bailey Scott and Dingle. 150 to come. And then three more heats, and that's when I'll start getting super, super quick. We will get down to, uh, we're looking at 403 from Abbey Woods, and then you'll certainly recognize of our Tokyo Team GB athletes. But that is uh, that's almost an anomaly her time. Because other than that, when you've got 1406 and 1409, and the rest are anything between 410 and 416 for those final three heats. Again, we have a trio, the black cap of Alicia Dingle, led from the start, but uh, she has got her work cut out and already right alongside yellow, ta yellow cap of uh, Lily Scott, the red of Ashley Bailey, and the fastest on paper is Ashley Bailey, and has she left her best until last? Well, 400 metres is going to come down to the final five, It is Dingle, who has led from the off, but she will have to settle for third place because four tenths quicker was Ashley Bailey. A fantastic final 50 metres for her. Lily Scott, likewise, 300 behind for Scott. And Alicia Dingle, she'll be out of breath. And she might look up at that scoreboard and think, how? But uh, still a good time. Anything under 4.20? for these swimmers, it's a roundabout right, maybe a little bit quicker than maybe anticipated. Uh, Alicia Dingle, in fact, two seconds quicker than her entry. Heat number 12 from lane zero. Lily Booker, Megan Barnes, Erin Little, Scarlet Orchard, Emily Clark, Nellie Kinch, Evie Dilly, Abby Lowe, Lucy Headley, and Isla McIntosh. these 10 between 4.16 and 4.18 entries. Uh, still got two 15-year-olds in this one, Evie Dilly 
He's in six, Lale McIntosh in nine. Centre lanes, Emily Clark and Nelly Kinch, 24 and 20 respectively, so senior members of the lineup. There's Emily Clark, 24 year old, that leads. Just one lane above her, that Scarlet Orchard, 18 year old, her teammates. Uh, from Loughborough University, they all know each other very well. Both in the 4.16 entries, those two. White cap over in lane number one, Megan Barnes from Mount Kelly. And without any doubt whatsoever, the loudest supportive team last night in the finals was Mount Kelly. You didn't even need to hear the name of the team re uh, read out by the announcer here at the venue. Because as soon as their teammate walked out, the, uh, the patch they were sat in, well, they raised a little bit of the roof. Really good fun. And they will do exactly the same this evening. I've no doubt whatsoever. Clark still out in front 20452. Uh, that pack of four that we discussed. Megan Barnes, Scarlet Orchard, and Nellie Kinch of Nova Centurion. To draw a ruler between the three chasing Clark. Yeah, less than two tenths separating those three. Bit of work to do for Booker, Dilly, Little and Co. Plenty of time, 150 metres. But Emily Clark just looking really composed out in front. Uh, Matt Kelly's Megan Barnes moving through the pack out of that mini uh, group she was in to try and control second place. So one lane above her, Lily Booker of Loughborough University. Uh, four Loughborough athletes in this one. The fourth one being Abby Lowe in lane number seven. Be a, a good fun last 50 meters. And Emily Clark from the outset led. She turned that into a body length and a half advantage. And here comes Megan Barnes. Beside her being dragged along Lily Booker. So that's now your top three. And five Nelly Kinch just falling back into fourth place. But is she going to put the pedal down now? Emily Clark, or is Megan Barnes going to steal this right to the end? I think she will, you know. Yeah, wow, good work from Barnes. The 4.13.54, quickest time of the heats. The new time to beat, and Emily Clark should be satisfied with the time, I'm imagining. A few seconds quicker than her entry, but possibly not the position after controlling that one for so long. Lily Booker, 4.15.04, third place. In ultimate heat, Laura Thompson, Fleur Lewis, Rachel Anderson, Tamarin Van Selm, Leah Chris, Beatrice Varley, Alice Deering, Jemima Hall, Lola Davison, and Cara O'Toole. Just one athlete 
in heat number 13 that is uh, categorised as a junior, and that is Laura Thompson over on the far side in the uh, red swimsuit and yellow cap. Everyone else 17 and over. And uh, in fact, just one more 16 year old in heat number 14, Marissa Booth. So, just looking back, the time of Laura Hodgson, the 4 16, uh, she hits in heat number 10. That already looks like it's going to be well enough to be at least in the junior final. And depending on this and the last heat in a moment, possibly even grab a place in the open, but we'll wait and see. So our uh, predictions were just about right. Between 4.10 and 4.15 to get into the open final. And uh, 15 and uh, a sub-20 to get into the junior. The green cap in lane three belongs to Tamarin Van Selm of Millfield, 17 years old. 4.10 entry time. I did mention the uh, quicker ones coming in now. Leah Crisp of Bath, 20-year-old in lane four. Her entry of 4.06.24. So if I were to make a prediction, it would be that Leah Crisp comes back in the final 150 metres to at least challenge. Beatrice Varley in lane number five. Just uh, one lane below Leah Crisp there, the Plymouth Leander, a 4.10 on the entry. And the leader Van Selm also 4.10. Uh, we could have expected to see the biggest gap between the field here now because the fastest four or eight swimmers in the entire event are a split over the last two heats in the centre lanes. The fastest two overall are Leah Crisp in this heat. And then there's only one quicker than her, that's Abby Woods in heat number 14. So instead of going head-to-head -head twice, both in the final heat and in the final, it's a split up across the last few heats. And other than that, anything more than the final three heats, they are just simply in uh, entry time order. A nice anticipation for the showdown at the end. And it is still Van Sell against Crisp and Varley. So these guys are racing for lane draws. I don't think there's no any doubt whatsoever these three are going to be in the final later. But where are they going to be positioned? Fastest time we've seen so far is a 4.13 from Megan Barnes. That is going to be beaten potentially by all three of these. Most definitely Van Sel, 408.52. And yeah, they all dip underneath. Leah Chris, 410. Beatrice Varley, 411. The final is and our 16 year old in that one was Lara Thompson, 417.48. So. I'm going to say that's guaranteed her a place in the junior final. But uh, don't write to me if it doesn't. <laughs> but, uh, just going on the maths, it, uh, it's going to get one of the centre lanes as well, I think. Currently, uh, that'll be lane five for her. Unless Marissa Booth, down in lane number nine here in hitting 14, can do anything about that. So Ella Dyson, Amy Hood, Amelia Rod, Freya Colbert, Abby Wood, Amber Keegan, Mia Slevin, Philida Britton, Marion Hanquit, and 16-year-old uh, Marissa Booth in the number nine at the bottom. And here we have the quickest of the bunch, already out in a small lead the first 25 that is Abby Wood 22 year old from Loughborough 
but uh, you may know her better as a Tokyo Olympian representing Team GB. Four oh three her entry time here. Amber Keegan, twenty four year old, in the lane below her on your screen. In her home pool of Sheffield, a four oh nine entry. So Abby Woods is uh, by some margin the best 400 metre swimmer in this event. Good start from Birmingham's Amy Woods over in lane number one wearing the white cap. So in lane three, and it's the uh, green cap of Freya Colbert, Nova Centurions, both of those 17 years old. Again, of those times, just to create the open final for the time being. We've so far had a 4 uh, 408, a 410, a 411, and a 413. Uh, eight of the seven of these swimmers have got entry times sub that. So, to get into the open final, the uh, 17 and overs have got to be looking at. About a 4.12, 4.13 to guarantee their spot. If they're anything 4.13 and over, we've uh, just got to wait for the official results. And the bells you can hear in the background. Santa's not arrived early. That is the conclusion to heat number five of the 100, well, 1500 metre freestyle over in the men's pool. Controlling things really professionally, Abby Wood at the front. She knows she doesn't have to set a ridiculous time. This isn't for a medal. This is just to get that advantage of the lane draw for the final tonight. And then I'm sure she'll uh, set off the afterburners. Still Freya Colbert going really nicely. 17-year-old from Nova Centurion. Amber Keegan, maybe uh, thought she would have been in second place or a bit closer to Abby Wood. She's still doing enough at the moment, absolutely. But with the likes of Amy Hood up there, she's uh, just got to be careful she doesn't miss out on a spot in the, in the open final here. Because she is now in fifth place with 25 metres to go. Back to the front, Abby Wood, no doubt about your winner. Can she go sub 4-10? Would put her in a centre lane draw. So that will put her in lane number five next to uh, Tamarin Van Selm tonight. Mia Slevin. Oh my goodness, Mia Slevin came through in the last 50 to 100, didn't she? To take second place. She'll be in the final, as will Freya Colbert and Amy Hood. Uh, Amber Keegan, 4-12. Yeah, that is going to get her into the final as well. The likes of Marion Hanquitz and uh, Ella Dyson, they've got a bit of an anxious wait to see if they can. I think that's going to be really, really close to the mark. But uh, Abby Wood, look forward to seeing her go up against Tamarin Van Selman Co. in the final from 5pm onwards. Now, that final is probably going to be around about 6.30, I think, 6 o'clock, looking at the schedule. The next quite a few races to go through until then, so... Uh, yeah, anticipate 6 till 6.30 for the 400 metre freestyle final. Now, event 2.11 officially on the paperwork. We like to call it the uh, Open 100 metre individual medley. This is heat number one. And there's going to be 17 heats. 
And you've got Lucy Turner, Darcy Rivett, and Hannah Murphy up first. So 20 to 25 minutes of swimming remaining in the women's pool. Popala doing a sterling job talking through the 1500 metre heat over in the men's pool. So 108 is the kind of time we're looking at for the first two or three heats. They've got out a little bit quicker than uh, you'd expect with 30 seconds. The, uh, the quickest in the final freestyle leg to bring them back home. Let's have a little look. So Turner, Rivet and Murphy. Murphy just 14 years old from Maidstone in uh, lane number five. So, yeah, I said it might be quicker than 108 based on the halfway time, and it is indeed 106.16 for Darcy Revit. Two seconds quicker, two and a half seconds quicker than her entry time, so she'll be happy with that one. Heat number two. And we'll move straight on to heat number two. We've got from lane one, Eleanor Brayton, Poppy Dunn, Gemma Bain, Abby Mitchell, Alicia Clark, Gabrielle Idle Beavers. Jamie Lee Tyson and Naomi Parker. So as the coaches are reminded that this evening's final session will start at 5.30, not on a published time of 5 o'clock. The warm-up will start at 4.45. So we're just hearing over the tunnel here. I've mentioned five o'clock several times for the final session. That's, uh, that's not going to be the case. It's going to start at 5.30 now, our finals. So 5.30 is the new time to set your watch to. If you want to be reminded um, technologically, all we need to do is jump onto the Swim England homepage of the YouTube and there will be the live stream there waiting and you can just set a bell reminder to be reminded when that is going to start i advise you definitely do that so back to heat number two red cap of naomi parker of morpeth in lane eight can she take it away from lane four no she can't take second place abby mitchell grabs it 107 94 and it just shows how good the time in heat number one of darcy river was a 106 The reason for the delay to the schedule is just that, uh, of course, we had the 400 metres. There was a bit of a delay during the men's 1500 metres, a couple of the heats, with a uh, scoreboard issue here in the venue. A couple of the times wouldn't get ratified, even though they were absolutely fine. And, of course, in the finals, there's a lot of them. I think it's 23 we counted earlier in the session tonight so a lot of swimmers to get through their warm-ups however we do have warm-up well, sorry ceremonies during the uh, the session tonight as well and we do bring you all of those live the medal ceremonies so here in three three Evie Tinsley Holly Lamb Neve Savory Molly Fisher Isabel Schimmels Georgia Mags Anna Stansfield, Tilly Copeland, Yasmin Sheffield and Josephine Klein. Anna Stansfield of Leatherhead. Leading the way in the blue swimsuit. Can she go sub 106? I think she'll just miss out. Yeah. But uh, cracking time still. Pretty much equal to the fastest we've seen through three heats. 106.74. Josephine Klein, nearest to you. In second and Georgia Max third. In fact, 
just a DQ announcement. Georgia Manx there came third place, disqualified for a technical infringement, sadly. 8-4. Abby Sulcum, Anna Farr, Katie Andrews, Jessica Harm, Jessica Shaw, Laurie Devine, Evie Smith, Kira Prentice, and then we jump over to Kira Wookie. Second separating your top five at the halfway mark. And a far of Ellesmere over in lane number one, then right down the bottom, swimming on a on her own with an empty lane eight, Kira Wookie of Colchester. And she's gonna come back really strong and challenge Anna Far. Great finish in lane number five as well. Yeah, Lauren Devine. 106.73, really, really just the final sort of 10 metres there, found an extra gear. Smashed her way through the field for second place. It was Katie Andrews that got third by a hundredth of a second over Kira Wookie. Heat number five, Alexandra Matichuk. Amy Brainridge, Naya Lagarde, Ellie Matthews, Daniela Goff, Laura Mills, Madeline Soper, Madison Nuttle, Jade Blake and Giada dudley -Pan. And that is a Quick off the mark for Jade Blake of Mount Kelly. Sub 30 seconds to halfway with an entry time of 1.08. Being caught now on the breaststroke by Madison Nuttall in the blue cap, Madeline Soper in the green, and then Lara Mills in the white. So these four from second bottom up on your screen. We'll battle it out over 25 metres of freestyle. And who's going to get to the line? It is going to be the blue cap of Madison Nuttall on the final stroke. She does indeed. Great finish there. Look at those times. All in 106. Quickest we've seen so far in the heats. Nuttall ahead of Soper, Mills and Blake. Number six, Lily Marie Derry, Lauren McRobbie, Lavinia Richer, Madison Peveler, Oriana Wheeler, Charlotte Williams, Oriana Knoll, Amelia Osborne, Louise Bressler, and Emily Cornish. Just look at the timing board here. <laughs> Six swimmers within half a second. I was trying to I was trying to be clever and call it who was in the lead, but I gave up with a few metres to go. Can they see over in uh, lane two? That is Lavinia Rika or Richa. Who will lead onto the freestyle. But this is the fun bit now, because it can all change. Or can she hold on? One from bottom, Louise Bressler, Guilford in the white cap. Lanes four and five looking strong, but she will indeed, actually. Yeah, fantastic freestyle for Lavinia. 106.61 ahead of uh, Wheeler. And then McRobbie over in lane one. Heat number seven.
Heat Southern, Olivia Lloyd Jones at the top, and Ruby Greenhalf, Tia Keeley, Eliza Powell, Molly Monk, Alabama Scott, Shola Robinson, Jasmine Dakuna, Ellie Kennington, and Chloe Skelt. So we've seen a huge number of 106s, but yet to break that barrier. All of these swimmers are 107 entries. So I'm sure one is capable. Just over one second separating the entire pool. Who's got the strongest breaststroke? In lane number three, Eliza Powell looking good. And here we go. Let's have a bit of fun then. I do like these when they're closer to the final 25. And he's, uh, look down and keep powering away. And she has moved away. Good freestyle and final 50 for Eliza Powell. 106.17. 106.45 for Olivia Lloyd-Jones. And then Shola Robinson joins them in the top three. Heat number eight. Heat number eight. Eve Salmon Hodges, Phoebe Arms, Gabrielle Freeman, Katie Rawnsley, Heather Whitcomb, Sky Carter, Olivia Marshall. Grace Goldsmith, Julie Seller, and Madison Renz. So some really good fun, hun fun uh, heats here in the uh, 100 IM. I am by an absolute country mile, my uh, favourite events. Love the relays too. They are always fantastic. No relay events here um, in Sheffield, unfortunately. Yeah, relay medleys. Just fantastic fun to commentate and watch. In four. So this is a different kind of race this time. Because you do have a, a good leader. It's Heather Whitcomb of Soundwell. Don't see too many Soundwell swimmers this weekend. But she's going to represent them as absolutely best she can. Sky Carter of Basildon Phoenix in a very strong second place. And Julie Salah, 106.74. Heather Whitcomb, first girl under 106 then. And by over a third of a second. Heat number nine, Madison Lay, Anna Uren, Ellie Sibbles Perkins, Sophie Baker, Daisy Purchase, Frankie Hatchard, Pixie Leo Klasicki, Lucy Buckingham, Imogen Viney, and Ashley Ransom. Strong backstroke for Anna Uren, City of Bristol, up on the far side of the pool. Almost a full second lead. Wow, we've seen that heats where the entire field is barely separated by that, but two and a quarter seconds separating all nine. She's getting reeled in slightly by Sophie Baker of Chesterfield in the red cap, and in six, Pixie Lau Klesicki of Brompton. In 7-2, Lucy Buckingham, so it's all change. A big second 50 metres for Lael Klesicki and Buckingham. They're going to come through to take this, unless on the far side, Madison Lay, if Thanet can get involved, she does with third place. But Lael Klesicki and Buckingham, great second half to the IM.
And now we have got, uh, we're moving on to heat number 10. However, the gents are also moving on to their heat number seven. So we just wait to see who's going to start first because we can't start them both at the same time. Uh, neither of them are on their blocks. In men's school lane, heat number seven. Oh, I'm just seeing on the scoreboard here, Sybil Perkins, who had such a great end to that race, disqualified from heat number nine. Oh, that's a shame for her. So, at both ends of the pool, both ends of the pool, we're um, still waiting for somebody to start. So heat number 10, Beth Robinson, Sophia Knight, Jessica Cross, Alexandra Hurd, Tia Hendley, Abby Winstanley, Hannah Poulter, Anna Healy, Jade Kashi and Eve Lelou. And Jade Kwashi, one of our invitational swimmers from Hamilton Aquatics Dubai. He's going to run away with this one. He's uh, had a 105 so far. And she's going to match that just outside 800. Yeah, quickest time so far for Kwashi. Tia Hendley, 105 also in 0.53. And a couple of tenths back to Anahini. So, uh, really good jump in times here. Jay Kersher, 105.08, quickest of the lot, and quickest through 10 heats. Heat number 11 Libby Harris, Emily Morgan Hughes, Rihanna Smith, Imogen Sargent, Isla McIntosh, Lucy Alex, Jodie Dilks. Laura Broadbent, Flora Perkin, and Hermione Rowe. Halfway, two tenths separating your top three. A second through the top seven. So no leader as we saw Kershaw do in heat number ten. This is going to be a fun final 30 metres. Just putting her nose out in front, Jodie Dilks of Tiverton. In eight, Flora Perkin of Dartmoor. Looking to the far side in three, Imogen Sargent. Who is going to touch home first? I think she's just going to make it. She does, Jodie Dilks. She had the best turn. And at 106.3, winning time. Head of uh, McIntosh, Morgan Hughes and Sargent are your top four. Not quick enough to take the fastest time away of the event so far. Got a couple of 105s. In fact, three 105s. Um, and by the time we get to heat number 17, we're down. We only get down to about the 104s, 105s. So, you know, somebody can pull something out the bag in these early heats. We've said it so many times across the weekend. It doesn't happen too often. But in these earlier heats, you can absolutely still a chance to get into those finals. And the entry times can be so misleading. Yeah, it can be set up. I've heard of entry times set back as far as 2019 for this event. So uh, we'll um, 
take it with a pinch of salt and just uh, enjoy what happens in the pool. Now look at lane number six. That's Amelia Robertson, 17-year-old from Newcastle. From the top, you've got Grace Conroy, Louise Edmonds, Alicia Cookson, Lucy Gratton, Madison Johnson, Megan Pye, Amelia Robertson, Matilda Bogle, Abigail Parkinson and Emma Alley-File. It was a super quick start. However, she's been absolutely pulled back through the breaststroke by uh, lane number two, Alicia Cookson. In five, that's Megan Pye of Norwich. And there's four swimmers here that could take the win in the heat. My crikey. Alicia Cookson gets it, 105.35, third quickest time of the heats today. Six tenths back, Louise Edmonds. Then we jump back down the pool to Robertson and Megan Pye. But uh, a tenth or so of a second separating your top three. And that is why we love 100 IMs. Heat 13, Charlotte White, Holly Marshall, Livia Gregory, Yana Spinner, India Sharp, Kira Noon, Maisie Guilford, Blythe Kinsman, Kamalia Stoymanova, and Millie Fields. Southern. Right, came up on our scoreboard as lane six here, but clearly lane seven, which will lead a blithe kinsman. So just uh, ignore that for the halfway scores. And three and four. Yana Spinner and India Sharp. And uh, in all pink in lane three. Look at Yana Spinner come through, like an absolute rocket through the field. And a 104.64, that is the quickest time by four tenths. And a win in heat number 13. Maisie Guilford and Charlotte White doing their best to um, keep up. number 14 Faye McDonough, Jennifer Horn, Chloe Bain, Marissa Booth, Jessie Lee Jens, Louise Jones, Holly Widows, Lara Turner and Ellie Wheeler. So we've had our first 104, we've had several 105s to get into the open final you're probably looking at a sub or very close to uh, the high 103s. Junior final could most definitely squeak in with a something in the 1-4s. So in five, uh, sorry, six and seven, Louise Jones and Holly Widows. They are 16 and 15 year olds respectively, so hoping to get into the open final, but a time here like that is very likely to get Holly Widows into the junior final. I have to wait and still see, oh, still a few heats to go, three heats to go, but uh, doing herself a big favour there with a good time of 103.62. Louise Jones and Jessie Lee Jens, uh, very respectful 104.5 and 105.3. Heat number 15, Georgia Gussie, Abigail Jolly, Sophie King, Sophie De Groot, Sasha Thomas, Chloe Hurst, Kirsten Powell, Jessica Woodward, Natalie Sanford and Natalia Druitt.
Entry times now are sub 104 for Sasha Thomas in particular. She's in lane four. Chloe Hurst is a 104.16 swimmer. Just goes to show the quality of that time by Widows. So 28.99. So round about the time we expect to see the halfway mark for a 103 or a 104. She is going nicely, isn't she, Abigail Jolly? Representing Leeds University, 19 years old. Entry time is, I'm going to say, only a 105. She's been pulled right back on the breaststroke. What's she got in the freestyle? In lane number six, that is Kirsten Powell of Millfield coming through really nicely in eight. We've got Natalie Sanford of St. Felix. And uh, Kirsten Powell, 104.41 for the win. Sophie King, second, 104.69. Jolly fell back to sixth in the end after such a good first 50. And Natalie Sanford, three tenths under 105 for third place in the heats. We've got two heats to go. And I think the juniors might get in with something mid 104s or sub 105 now. Just based on heat number 15 times. Fourth place finish in there, Chloe Hurst disqualified, sadly. It's the, just a short delay. So heat 16, penultimate heat. Two more chances to make it into the finals. Amy Brown, Sophia Dumont, Catherine Elland, Zoe Corsi, Molly Main, Katie Latham, Ella Chown, Lana Brokhaven, Grace Greenhalf, and an empty lane number nine. So 102 Molly Main's entry time, 16-year-old from Hamilton, Dubai. Leads through 25 metres. Katie Latham of Bromley sticking by her side. And the yellow cap in two is uh, Catherine Elland. Those three all separated by just half a second. Halfway time, 28.41, so well on for a 103-104. But uh, I think Molly Main might be thinking of a time a little bit quicker than that. This is an incredible lead into the final 25. That's enormous for a 100-metre IM. And her time is going to be the quickest by a fair margin. 101.88 for a Molly Main. Almost three seconds quicker than her, still fast Katie Latham. And Lana Brookhaven, 104.56. We're going to wait and see. One heat to go are those times. Of course, Molly Mains is, but the other is going to be quick enough to get into one of our finals. And this is heat 17. Georgina Dennis, Olivia Clare, Hannah Woodcock. Isabel Renwick, Isabella Hindley, Caitlin Lansom, Abby Lacey, Tegan Drew, Rebecca Amor and Ellie Walker. Isabella Hindley, 25-year-old from Brompton in lane number four in the uh, white cap and black swimsuit. Her entry time, one minute, point eight. Wouldn't it be fun to see her go up against Molly Main in lanes four and five? Very, very likely to happen based on how she started this 100 metres. And uh, fashioning this heat in the likes of Molly Main from heat number 16. On the far side, in lane one, Georgina Dennis doing the best of the rest, but they're all watching. Isabel Hindley just move away from the field and she continues to do so. She doesn't need to set an incredible time here, just needs to finish in uh, first place and get that pl uh, spot in lane number four for the final. And she's going to do it. She could go sub one minute. She'll just miss out. But a one minute point five seven, the best of all 165 swimmers taking part by over half a second. Caitlin Lansom, a very respectful, good time in 103.42, second place. But three seconds down on Hindley. 
We will very much look forward to this final later. Georgina and Dennis, 104 and a half. Uh, I'm sure that gets her into uh, the open final, but don't quote me, it will be confirmed. Anybody 105 and above on a bit of a wait to find out, but uh, this should be a fab final. Hindley up against Main in lanes four and five later on tonight. Do not miss it. That is the end of the action then for now. Again, the final session has been pushed back to 5.30 to give our swimmers enough time to have their warm-up. Just a couple of delays over in the men's pool during the 1500 metres. Um, but yeah, join myself and Bob Ballard. We're back on one stream tonight. So we've moved from two pools into one. So just go back to the Swim England YouTube channel and there'll be one stream waiting for you. It'll be our finals. Very, very much look forward to Welcome you back to Pons Ford International Sports Centre. For, for the final session of day number two, it'll be the National Winter Championships gold, silver and medal races from 5.30. Enjoy your break. We'll see you shortly.